Yeah, we're Ooh. here. Ah, uh, oh. Hey. Ta-da! So, as everyone can see, we're having a problem with our... I don't know why our giveaway ticket counter isn't counting tickets. But we're going to do it manual. So, if you've... If you've, uh, if you've put the ticket uh, or asked for a ticket, then... Uh, one of my lovely assistants will make sure that you're entered. Uh, we are going to be playing for four hours tonight, so we're going right through till midnight if you're in the Eastern time zone. And uh, yeah, we'll take a break about halfway through, and we'll do the we'll do the draw for the mystery box right after the halfway break. We will need your mailing address if you win the dice. Uh, it'll be sent out by Canadian Dice. It's a mystery box with five sets of. Unknown color and origin. Right? <laughs> origin. <laughs> <laughs> from the depths of the yeah, They, they can be from anywhere. They, they may can be, be from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming out. This is Heroes for CF. We are uh, fundraising tonight for uh, cystic fibrosis. For those that don't know, my daughter has cystic fibrosis, so it's very near and dear. Uh, I think if you type in, yeah, the donate, that is our link to our team page. The other option is you can tip the page. You can tip our channel here and uh, all tips are being donated to um, to Cystic Fibrosis Canada as well. If just you're in tip. Canada, yeah, just the tip. If you are in Canada, I strongly suggest you use the link that's just provided as uh, donations $20 or above will be, um, you can request a receipt. Ta-da! For your taxes, which is good. Okay, so... We're playing the Hidden Shrine of you forgot Tomoe something. Chan. What? I'm assuming we're sponsored. I was getting to that. I was getting to that. <laughs> sure you were. We're playing the Hidden Shrine of Tomoe Chan tonight, which is an old school adventure. It was originally re released as a competitive adventure. We're not playing competitive, obviously. We don't have other teams playing against us, but <clears throat> it makes for a pretty good one shot. Uh, and the first time I ever ran a Heroes for CF uh event this was the module we ran so we're revisiting revisiting it this year now our stream is sponsored by canadiandice.ca go over to canadian dice and buy yourself a couple sets maybe three four maybe more uh it, you're all dice goblins we know it so go over there and buy some and then use the code omrd that's the initials for old men rolling dice and you'll get 10 percent off your order and um and Ryan will make sure you get them to sweet. He's Gordon, very good about shipping. Gordon, you donate. are very... You're, donate you're what? to CF if you want instead. That works too. Yeah, donate to CF if you want instead. But, you know, if you want dice, go get dice. That's fine. I'm not going to begrudge anybody that. Um, listen, we have some old friends here tonight. And we have some new friends here tonight. So let's. we're going to go around the table uh and and introduce everybody uh ruin is back from cantrips and coffee uh ruin also is, is i hope it's okay that i mention your kinsman i've already mentioned this before yeah. Yeah, but for ahead. those that don't know the kinsman their number one charity correct me if i'm wrong is cystic fibrosis it so is. it's it's awesome to meet and we didn't even plan this no we just met randomly on the internet and there was that connection yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So where where can people t tell us a little bit about Cantrips and Coffee and where they can find it and things like that? Oh, gee. Well, uh, we are oh, a gee. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, oh, gee, boy. Gee. Sorry, my, oh, gee, my, my boy. Is coming out. Um, <laughs> coming out. Yeah, <laughs> uh, coming out. Um, we, see, uh, we are a tabletop review uh, podcast where we play everything, typically but D&D, &D, because why do we need to review that? It's already selling buckets. Um, and so our number one goal is to teach you other uh, tabletop games that you should play because there's a lot out there. And if you're like me, you didn't start with D&D &D and you wondered, why is everybody playing D&D? &D? What's so great about it? Why don't they play these other games? So uh, check us out wherever you get your podcasts. You have a pretty awesome origin story. We've talked about this on our podcast before uh, where you didn't start playing D&D, &D, like role playing games. No, or entering. I played uh, Warhammer Fantasy first. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went into Call of Cthulhu, which is my life passion nowadays. Okay, and let's quickly plug that because coming in June or July, July, yeah. July, Ruin, Ruin's going to be running a Call of Cthulhu campaign on mm -hmm. the Cantrips and Coffee channel. 
Yeah, on our Twitch page, which is currently running a Spelljammer every other Monday, we are going to be switching to every other Wednesday, and we are going to be playing Call of Cthulhu. Uh, it is a campaign known as The Society. And The Society is a secret organization that everybody thinks is, you know, ruling the world economy and doing shady dealings, but none of that's true, and there's a bit more of a mystery to it. And some people that you see right now on screen might actually be in that game, I'm just saying. Me. And her. We're going to have Artemis, Afi, Jeremy, and then we're also going to have Cade, who's also from Cantrips and Coffee, yes. and Sly, who is a part of the Voctaire. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for being here again, Ruin. Thank you for the last me. The last time I cracked you up with my Arnold Schwarzenegger Giants, I can't guarantee anything like that tonight, but we'll see. We'll, well see. Uh, last time I played a, a very manly barbarian, no, it was a fighter, a very manly fighter yeah, uh, yes. named Nox, and this time uh, I'm, I'm going to play a, an elderly old nun named Sister Aggie who may or may not be possessed, so we'll see what kind of accents I can put on. Sister Aggie, Sister Aggie, excellent. Uh, our next guest, new to new to Heroes for CF, but you've seen her here on the channel already. Uh, we play Pathfinder with her every Tuesday night uh, for for this entire month. We still have a couple more sessions to go. Uh, Queen Mother GM, how are you? I'm good. I'm very excited for tonight. Um, I am too. It's really nice to turn the tables and return every favor that you had in all of our games so far back to you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. All the ridiculous stuff I've done. Uh, if you're interested in learning, Queen runs... This is her first 5th edition D&D, right? First game? Yes. First 5th I mean, edition. You're no slouch to tabletop. I don't want to get... I don't <laughs> get that. Yes. So, yeah, I've played 3.5. I've played 4. It's been a while, but uh, some of my favorite games have been not D&D. &D. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite GMs and experiences there. So, mostly I run Pathfinder, uh, Blades in the Dark, Monster of the Week. Um, I'm like a lot of... There's a game for everyone out there. So, I, I just kind of like to dabble, as it were. And the best thing is, if you want Queen to run a game for you, you can totally do that. You can go over to her Instagram page and follow the links. Queen Mother mm -hmm. GM on Instagram, or you can go to Start Playing. Many of us are already familiar with that website and look up Queen Mother GM there and uh, yeah, get her to run a game for you. That, that's how we found her. So, yep. you know, get out there and do the same. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here, Queen. And you're playing, you're, who are you playing? I am playing uh, Scarlet uh, Charlemagne. Uh, she is a barbarian uh, from the south a little bit, so forgive me for my accent as it's it's not quite so polished as I haven't been home for a while and I've been busy traveling. But uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's a lady barbarian who uh, likes to smash some heads every now and then. Dungeons and Dragons is the place to butcher accents, so... Mm. We we welcome that if if that if that should happen. <laughs> uh, from the Stronghold D and D, Sir Tim is with us, and we're really excited because I've been an admirer of your Instagram reels for a while. Earthos, thank you so much for those subscriptions. Uh, so Tim, uh, where where can people find you? I found you on Instagram, but you're all over the place, aren't you? Like, where's the best place to see the stronghold D and D? Probably Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. I think that's where I've. Where I go hard in the paint. So, yep, I'm the annoying guy on Instagram. It's flooding every every hashtag that you have. My bad. <clears throat> it's fun. <laughs> I like to make reels. It's a That's fun pastime. Okay. So, but I want to say when uh, so our our stronghold started um, in I think it was February of 2020. We all yep. came together. COVID locked everybody down. We all had Zoom. We started playing this thing, and two people uh, that I, that I started watching. Uh, was Jason Charles Miller, his quick starter thing to get me into 5e, and I found out, wow, 5e is amazing, and you. I started no! in your bowler hat, and yep, a little bit of a fanboy, and uh, yeah, I think I've been following you for, for a while, um, very welcoming stream and things like that. Um, good crowd, I think. I've been following you for a while. I, I think Nell, Nell, I don't know what her, like, the real name, but she cosplays as Laura Bailey in, uh, uh, um, I think she she's at your table as well. We we kind of um, said hey to each other um, a, a while back, and I'm really really excited oh. to to be a part of the team tonight. So namaste. We're excited to have you here. Who are you playing tonight? <laughs> Weirdly enough, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stretch and I'm gonna play a character I don't often play, and I'll play Sir Tim. Sir Tim. <laughs> yeah. Sir Tim, the, the paladin. 
Yep, Oath of Devotion. Uh, I'm going to test them out because I haven't done Oath of Devotion yet. So test out this fifth level thing. I start tomorrow as a baby first level Sir Tim. And we're walking to Nightstone and Storm King's Thunder. Everything should be fantastic. It should be an easy campaign. Can people uh, check out that campaign? Is that going to be on Twitch? Yeah, it'll be on Twitch uh, tomorrow morning, 11 PST AM. Oh, my gosh. I don't know just, if that'll be up there. Really. Stronghold d d Yeah. You know, no. just come in and just harass you know, type in, you guys suck, and then... Like, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for the Bye. kind words, and thank you for being here. And we'll, tr we'll try not to kill Sir Tim too quickly. Uh, I usually kill Sir Tim, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, maybe he doesn't need an introduction, but Ryan from Canadian Dice uh, is with us tonight. Uh, Ryan uh, is in a lot of our streams, maybe the stream sponsor. Uh, we were maybe sort of like married at GaryCon, were we? I mean, not officially, but... Not officially. I can cast ceremony. Like... I can make this happen. Can... You can make it happen? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, maybe. We, did go, we did go to the Gygax restaurant together, and I think that's as geeky <laughs> a thing you can do with another man. That is maybe the geekiest thing you can do. Yeah. I think, you know, we're tight. We're tight. Who are you playing today, Ryan? Uh, tonight I'll be playing Fish Spleen the Goblin. He's making a return. Uh, a return? Very quickly last time I played him. Oh, okay. uh, but he's back. Another uh, maybe a resurrection of sorts. We'll see what happens. He has questionable motives, so we'll we'll see how this goes. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, we did not roll dice at the Gygax house, or though we went to the Gygax house together, That's and true. we sort of fanboy down the sidewalk. We didn't. I was thinking about blessing dice and then charging more for them online, but I, you know, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't bring enough. I felt like we maybe should. Like I wasn't sure if we were allowed to just run up on the porch. You yeah, can do anything like, once. Yeah. yeah, you can do anything once. M missed opportunity, maybe. Missed opportunity. Next year. Next year. And, I don't uh, think that your marriage is consummated then, if you didn't oh. roll dice in the house. It's uh -oh. a hand fasting. So it's just a promise. What? Oh, I heard my hand Taking a turn. You gotta do hand <laughs> Yes, it's hand, hand stuff. stuff. Uh, an old fashioned, I think we called that down at the uh, Gary Gun. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you for being here, as always, Ryan. I apologize. Ta-da. Ta and last but not least, the twins from uh, from the Vokter. Uh, they are rarely separated uh, and never duplicated. We have uh, Artemis and uh, my sister, Affie. Uh, not really my sister, but she treats me like a sister. Treats someone. It's you true. Agree? I, I agree. agree? Uh... uh Affy and Artemis, both from the Vokter. The Vokter is another channel here on Twitch. Do you want it to is. sell yourself? Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm Affy the DM. I'm the, I don't know, community manager of the Vokter, and we do stuff. We do lots of stuff. Lots of streaming over there. We actually and have Artemis, a lot what, of streaming going on. What's your title? Uh, I don't know. It changes so much, but the last time I checked, it was social media manager and content coordinator, so we'll go with wow. that. And village crazy lady. Yeah. And village crazy lady. Yes. Yeah. It's my yes. my job to keep track of the circus schedule, so you For know. Sure. The three of us play games all the time together. Um so anybody that's familiar with the channel, I'm sure is familiar with you guys. I hope so at least. Uh and the Vokter. Well, who are we playing tonight, their uh team? Go ahead. Um, I'm playing Venkata the Druid. She's a dragonborn. A dragonborn druid? Yep. Circle of the Moon? Yep. Woohoo. Nice. I'm playing Nicole. <laughs> You're so disappointed in me. I'm playing Just, Have you ever heard of an elf? Have you ever played an elf or a dwarf? That's all I want to yes. know. Yes. Not in my games, but who, who what tell everyone what your monk is tonight. I am a Loxodon monk. Way of the four elements. Am I allowed to play with the soundboard? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and uh i punch people with fire and your trunk maybe yep do do loxodon get a trunk attack uh they can use their trunk as an attack okay well no sorry they can use it to like i do not hide lift, my drop, dislike hold, push or pull an object i do not hide my dislike for um what's that Lots. class again i i don't even want to say it Artificer. Artificer. Artificers. After Artificer, Monk. 
I hate monks. I don't care. Why? I don't care what people think of me for it. I don't care. I'm allowed to have my opinions. I, Where do centaurs yeah. land in that? Centaurs? Oh, a centaur like is just in my homebrew campaign. Centaurs are like like orcs and goblins. Like you fight them. Yeah, that's how I feel about them. But yeah. Anyways, let's not get hung up on me. Are we ready to play D and D? I don't know. I feel a little attacked right now. It's been going well. <laughs> yeah. This. This is this is how it all begins, and it will probably be how it all ends. Um, I do have the Electrum rewards turned on, so there is something there to enrage the enemy and give the enemy advantage for the entire round. Um, I considered just using that one tonight and not opening the other ones up. But you can also heal the party. Uh, a second win gets them, I think, 2d10 hit points. And then uh, then the other one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, and then the other one's like to give the, someone in the team advantage. Uh, and so just so we know, the the ticket thing is not working, but we are manually taking your tickets. So if you would like to be entered in our draw for a box of oh. mystery dice from Canadian Dice, oh, it's oh a God. box with five sets of dice in it. You don't get to know what it is, though. It, that's the mystery, right? Well, yeah. Is it, or it's not is it like exclamation giveaway? Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. You just get the box, and you hope there's dice inside. Sorry, do you, like, you, you want to find like mystery for us? Because I'm I'm unclear what you mean by mystery box. They box. have they have unknown origins. They have unknown powers. They are a mystery wrapped in an enigma, and <laughs> and not blessed on the front porch of the Gygax residence. What's even the point? I know. Why do we bother? Why do we bother? Shut it down. Okay. <laughs> To hell with this. The hell with this. is a sham. Okay. Let's get on with it. I think we've covered everything. We're going to go till about 10, and then we're going to take our break. And then when we come back after 10, we will draw for the dice. Sound good? If you would like to draw, if you would like to be in the dice, just like put uh, exclamation point ticket in the chat, and we will manually take note. We will manually take note. I mean, I can show you what's in the box, but then I have to send a different Then box. it's not a mystery. I wouldn't send this box. We can show you what's in the box, but then we have to kill you. We're showing yeah. you a random mystery box, but it's we're not the actual box time. that we're going to send you because then it wouldn't be a mystery. Yeah. I think everyone knows what dice looks like. Don't they? I don't know. Every week there's a new Kickstarter with a different way to do it. I'm losing all hope. I know. I know. <laughs> so listen. Uh, the party all knows one another. Because we don't have time for anything else. Yeah. <laughs> We've been pals. Yeah. You guys have been chum, real chummy, best buds, eh? Since uh, level one, and now you're level five characters. Uh, you are all traveling through a great jungle, looking for the lost city of Tamoachan, where, where prizes and riches galore await. As you head towards the Pyramid Temple, you tread across cracked and overgrown flagstones, stepping over fallen and shattered pillars, pushing aside vines and briars. When you're nearly at the temple, the sounds of creatures crashing through the underbrush come from behind you. You turn around to see people moving through the woods towards the clearing around the pyramid. Then suddenly, da -da -da, the earth shudders and Gapes open beneath your feet, and you're falling amid the roar of collapsing masonry. Dust fills the air, and the sunlight disappears as the darkness swallows you. Dump, dump, dump. <laughs> well, that became linear. <laughs> yep. Yep. Welcome to my railroad. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get the map out now. <clears throat> Brace yourself. Um... So you've fallen to the ground. Nobody takes any damage from the fall because uh, that would be unfair to start the game off like that. Inspiration <laughs> for it? Venkata. Already? Thanks, Ursula. What did Venkata do? Broke my fall. That? I did yeah, my makeup today. Does that count? Yeah, absolutely. Are, um, are elephants fat? Or are they just a regular medium size? Medium sized. But this elephant floats gently to the ground. Yeah, because I've pace? got slow fall. <laughs> slow <laughs> fall, bitch. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna drag everybody to where they are before to start this off. Can we all see? Wow, I had to really scroll over to find that. Here we are. Uh, uh, I, I, this is a big map. I don't have dark vision, but I do have a lantern that I will carry in my trunk. Okay, so do you want to light your lantern? Yes, please. I see a Sir Tim in the dark. Did I okay. Need to hit something? Nope. We're gonna. Uh, your your elephant adventure is turning on the lights right now as we speak. Lightbringer, engage. Does that work? Do you, can you see now? Ah. Yes. No. Yes. I don't yes. think so. Work with me here, people. Yeah. Sister Aggie can't see. No. Oh, you know why? Because when I clicked on Sister Aggie, it says Sister Aggie needs vision. How about I turn your vision on? Are you a human? Yes. Can you see now, Sister Aggie? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay. Can everyone just... Uh, we should have probably done this before we went live, but can everyone just make sure they can move their miniature? Uh, indeed, uh, uh, Scarlet is mobile. Is mobile? There we go. Good to go. We're good to go? Ooh. Everyone can move? Okay, so crashed. listen. Hey. Did you really? Yeah, I'm reloading the page. That's fantastic. Maybe That's fantastic. Also, a good start. Yep, absolutely. Sister Aggie's looking for her contacts. So listen, the chamber around you, uh, as you look about, um, <laughs> your your monk, is it Nikala? Nikala. Nikala? Yep. Honestly, could you make it? You come Neca, Neca <laughs> is fine. <laughs> so Nicole all lights their lantern and realizes that it's only doing about half was it, what it should. It sputters and fights the flame fights to stay alive. And you realize that there is a there is a fog. There is a there's a yellowy orange mist hovering about the room. And whatever vapors are in here here is affecting fire. <clears throat> it's working like like a like a fire retardant. It's like you, you only get so all your flames any flame that's lit will only light half of what it normally does hmm. i've got the vapors over here yeah no, i don't appreciate that at all as you as you breathe in and out everyone sort of begins to get you know there's a bit of irritation around your nose from this mist oh so tim was that you sorry <laughs> sorry Sorry about um, it. So the, you're saying the flames aren't working? Can I can I go Lightbringer mode then and click this thing and turn it on? You certainly can. Hang does on. it shed Does it shed light like a regular torch? Uh, weapon glows as bright as a torch when yeah. its wielder commands while glowing. The mace steals an extra. What's a stuff. torch? Twenty is a torch twenty twenty. See, I mean, and this is sunburst though, so it's like magical light. Yes, so that does not obviously sputter or cough or anything like that. And your light, when it hits this vapor, you can definitely tell now there is a thick amber-colored gas floating about the room, and it lightly obscures the chamber. It makes things a little difficult to see, and it's irritating on sort of nose, mouth, and eyes. Ooh. Now, you're in a long, narrow chamber running east and west. So the top of the map is east. And this, you know, to your left is north. Okay? In the center of this apartment is a dome shape on the floor. In the east wall is a blank stone door. The west end of the room is is blocked by fallen stone and rubble from where you collapsed into it, and it has sealed itself behind you. The two side walls appear to have several niches cut into them. The shape in the center of the chamber appears to be a small alcove protected by a half dome with the open end facing towards the door in the east wall. This alcove is set in a recessed shallow tiled well, one foot deep, and approximately 10 feet wide. The alcove itself is four feet high, and the recess, the recess contains a display of sorts. The display appears to be a diorama depicting a hunting party of Olmen warriors. And the Olmen would have been the, the uh, 
the ancient people that would have lived in Tomoe Chan when the city was, uh, you know, alive and operational. Uh, the warriors are in feathers and deer hide garments, and it's a mountainside scene. Some have pulled down a, a stag with the aid of a dog, and another group is cleaning a small uh, mule deer. And others have cornered a panther with spears. A scout watches the panther from an outcropping above, and he holds a metal staff with a loop in the end of it. It's like a shepherd's crook. The three, in, the three niches on both the northern and the southern walls are five feet wide and about three feet off the floor, and each contains a diorama de depicting some aspect of tribal life. The six-inch tall figures in all the displays appear to be made of stucco, realistically and brightly painted. The scenes portrayed represent fishing, farming, religion, warfare, the creation of story, and crafting. The cave-in behind you completely blocks the west end of the chamber, and at short intervals, small amounts of rubble and dirt continue to spill down into the room. Several large stones appear to have wedged themselves tightly, closing the collapse, the collapse off. Now that's a lot to uh, to digest. So I I will I posted it there in chat, and and anything you know, we can walk through anything that you're curious just, or unsure of. Can you just ping where the diorama is? With the yeah, hunting? the diorama is in this in the center. Okay. And th and think of it like um, almost like a like a band shell. A, a tiny band shell uh, or or a stage that's partially covered and it faces the door in the in the northern end uh, pardon me the, the eastern end of the room well this doesn't look fun at all just put that up there mm, also no, I don't think it. we've been <laughs> I don't think we've been uh Landed on our behinds quite so fast since the last time we uh, went to a stag and doe at a tavern there. Um, I can't say as I know what any of this is about. Couldn't possibly have been that my intelligence was my dump stat. <laughs> um, we don't want to judge. I, well, I guess uh, the only way onwards is through. Uh, I... I suppose uh, so. Let's get on with it then. Can I take a look at the? Um, I'm gonna kind of look in these little alcoves. You can pick whichever one this would be. I just want to. You said there was ones that had like little clay figures. Yeah, all of them. All of the alcoves have little stucco figures um, of tribal men and women, uh, <laughs> sort of, you know, doing life. Could I, um, could I possibly see if I might know how old this is? Uh, like sure. History. Give me his, give me a history check. I feel like this is probably something I'm not good at, but let's see how it goes. Uh, sorry, I didn't have my character sheet open. That's oh, and it just, it just crashed. So, <laughs> mine, cr mine crashed too. Oh, mine yeah. crashed too. Yeah, mine did too. I just refreshed it and we Yay! Roll twenty. <laughs> Uh, inspiration for fish spleen. You're, you're inspiration. Thank you. It's like you're trying to do a history check on a goblin crash. Crash. <laughs> Take That's that. That's a hard no. Not we allowed. Well, actually, it uh, does turn out that uh, I may know a thing or two about history, so I, I could also make that rule. Okay. Let me check my notes. Uh, I think that's a 17. <laughs> 17. I hear you better mm. than than who you are absolutely right a 17 and a 20 the two of you look these are quite ancient these would have probably been from the time that uh to, the city of tomochan was alive and well before whatever horrible fate took it so a few hundred years maybe more mm. can i have can i have everybody roll a d6 for me i was muted <laughs> of course <laughs> <laughs> Tim, what, Tim, go ahead. Before, go ahead and roll the d6, everybody, and then, and then, Tim, what are, what are you doing? I, I was also doing a history check, but it was horrible. So, I okay, don't know yeah, you're not, you're not sure. 
You're yeah. not sure then. Uh, and then whatever the D6 was, uh, you can take that off your hit points as the gas slowly begins to poison you. Oh, ah! good. I I roll the door and open the door. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, I sure. thought that uh, rolling high was good, but uh, that six, uh, that hurt. Yeah, so that's poison damage. If you have poison resistance, you would take half. If Affy were a dwarven monk. <laughs> now, if I had been raging, that would have been a little different, I think. But Yes, yes. Uh, on this central pedestal, can you... Bummer. It's the diorama depicting a hunting party, correct? Or am I... No, the shape in the center of the room is the half dome. No, the one in the center of the room shows a hunting party. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the diorama shows a hunting party and a hound that have brought down a deer. Uh, and there is another group of hunters that have cornered a large panther-like cat. Uh, I would like... Lovely Tim's, room of death. Unless Tim's going right for the door, I would like to inspect yeah. the door before he pops it yeah, open. Yeah, sure. Yeah, do that. Okay. So when you, when you get a little closer to the door, the two of you, the door is carved with a sun symbol and appears to open into the room. There are hinges on this side and scratches on the floor. There's no visible lock or handle on it. And although a slight gap stretches across the top of the door... Eight holes seem to have been bored into the door. They're about an inch in diameter, but nothing can be seen in them. The door seems to be fairly thick, and the lintel above is arched with a keystone at the top. And uh, uh, dump, dump me again, so this is wonderful. Uh, those look like arrows or something. Just to, like, let's 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 not stand in front of the holes. <laughs> as we as we push this open oh, could, it the, like, could the gas be coming from those holes they d it doesn't seem to be no i put my nose up uh, in the hole. No. <laughs> yeah if you, if you so so uh ryan your your little goblin puts his nose up to the holes and sniff there's no sort of air movement or anything from them it's just um it's stagnant i'm going to turn the music off by the way and i think that might be part of the problem so we'll disable music and roll 20 and hope that helps um yeah there, there's no handles and there doesn't appear to be any sort of uh um air movement from the holes want to give it a go and i do a pry it and stick the old long sword in there and and, uh, I think we ought to try something as <laughs> this is uh, sticking my eyes and ruining my makeup. <laughs> we'll perceive the best way to open door. Okay. Not well. Apparently I'm still wearing my helm and I cannot see. I'll take my helm off for the next perception roll. Okay. Okay. Well, uh -huh. you don't see, you don't see any, any sort of handles or, or anything like that. Um, the 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 uh, the holes are about an inch in diameter. There's nothing inside them, though. They don't go very deep. The little stucco stucco figures are they? Yes. Like, can we pick them up? Uh, they do look like they can be moved. Yeah. Ooh. Are the bases of them round, like the holes in the door? No, they're not. No. Okay. I'm gonna pick them up and uh, move to the I middle. Have, I might have a picture of one for you. Hold on one second and I'll see if I just let me see if I've got one here. Do, do, do. There we go. But, but literally this is poison in here. So like is this like an every six second poison? Because I figure we just, <laughs> just rip this thing open. So we um, CBK the first room. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is the example of the one little guy in the center that's holding the the crook like a shepherd's crook. It, does start. that come off? Do you want to try to pull it out of his hand? Not like hard. Just kind of give it a little like wiggle to see if it is yeah. loose and can yeah. come off. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But it's very very small because he's just a little. He's just, just a little, little guy. guy. Oh, it's like a mini uh, hero I, forge. I knock on uh, Sir Tim's. Shin guard. 
I'm guessing you're wearing. Like I'm guessing you're wearing plate, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> all day. Of course, of course. Day. Uh, uh, Tim, you mind just moving over a little bit? I'm let me get. Do all and of I'm... the little figures have like a little thing that can be pulled off? No, only one. I pull out my little my little lock picks and I'm like looking around the door and I don't I can't seem to find any holes or anything I can. Try well, to give pick. me an investigation check there, my oh. man. All right. Aid. Oh. There you go. Ooh. So roll with advantage. Will I? Got a seventeen for my aid. Uh, I'll just pick him up and carry him to the higher <laughs> parts. Uh, that'd be a twenty. Uh so the maybe, maybe Tim gives you a bit of a boost, and you th and you think that that the hole that's up beneath the lintel, you think that's more than just a regular hole. You think that might be the keyhole for the for the door. Can I uh, try to unlock it, or do I? Is it very clear I need a key? Uh, you can. You little can shepherd's try to hook. I can try to pick it. Maybe try this. A little shepherd's Are you standing? Hook? Sorry, are you standing on Tim's shoulders, or are you like yeah, a master yeah. blaster formation? We've been doing this for years. Five levels. <laughs> I feel like that's funnier if I am. So yes. Yes. Okay. For when yeah. something horrible happens. Uh, and 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 Affy. Uh, Nicole all is trying to get their attention that you have. Something. I just shrug and be like, "Okay, I'll just stand uh, what, here with the right other, answer." What's our other three adventurers doing? <laughs> what What is uh, Venkata and Sister Aggie and uh, Scarlet doing as as the goblin is hoisted up onto Tim's shoulders? Are there any depictions <sighs> on the center, like? platform thing like with the little figurines is there any like pictures on there or anything like that no there's just the, there's just the sort of diorama um there's nothing and it's and it's sitting down in a little depression on the floor mccall all you got a key i'm just reaching out with plate hands oh i'm sorry are you paying attention to me now <laughs> am i now the elephant in the room oh oh starts early no. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the elephant pun coming. Oops. You're Oopsie. welcome. I go over with the shepherd's crook that I've pulled off this little, this little guy. Yep. Here, try this. And you pass it up to Fishling. Yeah. Sure, oh, I'll give it a shot. Scarlet <laughs> is like seeing that this isn't working and and not enjoying the poison. She's uh. Mm -hmm. Well, um, maybe we can take this diorama thing and, and, and stand on it, and maybe we can go back the way that we, we fell. And so she's going to start playing with the diorama and maybe try and move it? To, like, Seeing if it can move? It. Yeah. Sure, give me a strength check. And uh, the door, as Scarlet's doing that, the door unlocks. Oh. Uh, Scarlet, you don't have any, any success in moving it. It's and away we solid. go. My digital dice was on a 19 and then rolled to a 3. So. <laughs> How dare it? How dare it? The, the crook guy was the key. So the, the stone door swings into the room there, Tim and Fish Spleen. And you can, see a tu you can see a tunnel beyond. I look over my shoulder and go, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Yeah, it's about time you've sorted your brain out. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Uh, would that tunnel that uh, you found be filled with this nauseous gas as well? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh. There What's goes roll twenty man? again. Mm. You you take us to the the nicest places, Tim. <laughs> Sister Aggie at this point would just be like, "I've lived too many years to stay here. Let's oh. go." <laughs> She creeps me out. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I love that we have an she, old lady. When, when when she hears you say that, she would also just be like, do not speak to Sister Aggie like that. Deary. I'm just taking the iron. Deary. Right now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh Sister boy, Aggie oh is my boy. favorite. Um, <laughs> listen, as Sister Aggie pushes ahead into the tunnel, it, it gets dark quickly for Sister Aggie as as there's only limited uh, uh, light here, gonna but this uh, she's gonna this... cast dancing lights. 
Cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. And she can move them at will, so she's just gonna keep moving them ahead with her. Okay, hold on. Her, oh, I can move the map. Duh. All right. Okay, so let me go in and give Sister Aggie some light here, and it's magical as well, so it's not affected by the Ooh. by the strange gases that are down here. And it's it's four orbs, so I'm yep. just gonna string a few out in front and just keep moving them at will. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you thirty thirty. That sounds great. Um, and the stone walls of this corridor are carved to resemble a stack of bamboo-like logs. The passage slopes down. From a single door on its western leg, the lintel of which has been crafted to represent a stylized cavern entrance. And it leads to double doors, which you probably, I'm not sure, well, the dark vision people can probably see it, the double doors ahead. Uh, but it leads to double doors of beaten bronze, worked to resemble a forest of seaweed. Uh uh, this door behind us that we're leaving is there any handles on this side of it or is there there's not no hmm. Scarlet's oh, given you can a lot of thought as to... best you can if you want are we pulling yeah. closed Jared, I, Scarlet's mention, thinking about it. I have a familiar I forgot to mention that okay I have a little spider okay that's your yours to control my friend okay I don't know what these two little rectangle things are here, but we should scope them out. Like okay, so, th yep, so the passage is sloping down there, and uh, it's here that there's sort of a crap, it's crafted to represent sort of a cavern entrance at this point, and leads down to the beaten bronze worked doors that resemble sea that look like a forest of seaweed has been These guys are so wealthy that built this and made them. the cave look like a cave interesting <laughs> <laughs> that's some throwaway cash there well you want to you want to keep pressing ahead you want to do can i perceive for a trap or anything like that absolutely give me a perception check oh, okay Perceiving plus six. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Not Eleven. Sweet. Well, you don't see the anything. Hall looks like Hall. Yeah, okay. I uh, don't know if you saw it, Jer, but Alyssa donated $25. So thank you, Alyssa. Oh, thank you, Alyssa. Would you like to buff the party? Or would you like to buff the monsters? If you'd like, I'll even allow you just... We'll just add in a... A wandering monster in the next room, or something like that. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. I'll, um, wait and, I'll wait and see what Liz says. <laughs> mm. Alyssa. Well, that was fast. That's is anybody right choice? Put all oh, is it Alyssa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, okay, it so Alyssa's like is buffing the monsters? That's what yep. I'm seeing? Okay. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I like this very much. Okay. So, Sir Tim does not see any sort of um, threat. Well, Tim says... But I'm not too bright. That nah, I want a caveat. <laughs> uh, Sister uh, Aggie would, would press on to go examine that door then. Okay. Um, and as, as she approaches it, she'd be like, it seems just like the monster I fought at the bottom of the monastery. All tentacles. But I kept them at bay. Sister Ed, uh, you're my favorite. Oh, I'll make sure you get plenty of cookies later then. Thank you. So so as as Sister Aggie gets to about here. Oh no. Um sh she hears a click. Now oh, boys. As a stone pushes down, and the bamboo, uh, the 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 bamboo walls uh, swing out uh, in this area to thrash uh, Fish Spleen and Sir what? Tim. Uh, <laughs> this, is good. this is gonna be good. Uh, they're both knocked. They're both knocked forward uh, by them, uh, and the and and. You guys can roll your damage. You both take 2d6 bludgeoning. Tim yeah. and Fish Spleen. 
and the rest of the party uh right here at these you know strange the strange cave like opening the walls begin to um close together oh boy shit to go yeah i've seen this before get through the door Rushing so can forward. i have can i have the three you of you at the they're... back all make dexterity saving throws to get through the doors before they close oh you said that they 19. were bamboo walls well, the walls look like bamboo. So, like <laughs> these like bamboo pieces, walls now. <laughs> yeah, so these pieces of the wall right. swing out and hit Fish Spleen and Sir Tim forward onto the ramped floor. And then the walls start to close. Uh, inspiration oh, for no. Scarlet. Inspiration for Scarlet. Oh. Uh, oh, well, my inspiration thank you so much. Got, who, would you like to use that awful. inspiration to, to pass that deck save? Yep, because that was terrible. That wasn't a whole lot better, but we'll go with well, it. Well, listen, uh, you're f I'm going to say Ven with with that first horrible roll, Venkata actually falls here. And and like the walls are pushing in on her and then she manages to roll forward and not get her ankle caught. Uh, however, the passageway behind you um, has been sealed. No, it's still all poisony. It is still all poisony. Yuck. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe I should use a rogue thing and look for traps. Might be a good idea. Helpful. Don't Sister, don't don't fall Sister, into you would specific rule. You do what you need to do. <laughs> so uh, there, Sister, you would help them a, up, and as as she does, she'd say. Uh, and I thought my hip was bad. Come on, Yuri. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to Gan. I guess I'll take a look at this door since I see where this is going to be going tonight. <laughs> They're made of bronze, <laughs> and they they have been etched to look like seaweed sorry six-year-old to... that's okay hold on real quick may have bronze etched to look like seaweed yeah it looks like like you know you're looking into a a thick batch of seaweed is there that's a, a noticeable handle or lock or what to not on it uh there's not a lock but it looks like they can be pushed open uh, Scarlet uh, takes a moment and uh, uh, looks up because she's she's getting some heebie-jeebies from seaweed in a cave and the fact that we are in a small compressed area. So she, she starts looking upwards as uh, I, I do start to think that we are some fish in barrels, as it were. Absolutely. So she, she looks up at the roof. It, it's carved to look like bamboo, just like the walls. Um, nothing suspicious there. Mm. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Seeing this bamboo on the roof, um, can I look for to see if there's some way that it maybe is somehow connected to this door in some way? Uh, sure. Give me give me an investigation check on the door to see if you can figure out if it's uh, if, it's, if it's weird it's or not. Clearly, what it is. How strange is this door that lays before us? Was that Sister Elgie? It's not very strange, Fish Spleen. You've seen generic... I mean, this is a pretty generic door. You've seen this before. How's the goblin doing? Is he looking, like, really unhealthy right now? Do you need, well, do you need to lay on hands, buddy? You're up here on my shoulders. You, you good? Yeah. All right. Oh, right. Everybody okay? <laughs> I can't do that. You can't decide if yeah. he's Australian or like German. I'm working. I'm in the middle somewhere. Yeah, not both. <laughs> there's there's quite there's quite a spectrum there. Yeah. <laughs> not sure, German or Australian. It's okay, we're all gonna be swapping accents by the end of the night, anyways. It's fine. That's why I don't have to. I don't have to commit to anything. So so Fishbling thinks the door looks pretty good, my man. That's actually Just open. Just going. <laughs> actually, a nine. It. You're gonna open it. I mean, how much budget do they have for traps in here? This is a bronze door, the bam boo boo walls hitting people. I think I think they gotta be out of money by now. I like your style. I, I like your style. Uh, <laughs> fully expecting this to come down on my head as he opens the door, I wrap myself to 
I'll okay. put him underneath my shield. So so the door opens, you immediately recoil. Time the room the room is constructed of large stone blocks buttressed in the corners. I said buttressed. Uh, the walls are the walls are wet and slimy and mud covered. Most of the floor has a thin coating of mud and slime all over it. To the east and west, you you see stone doors recessed into the walls, and to the north, you see a set of stairs going down. In the center of the chamber sits a very large, polished boulder amid a pile of smaller round rocks. The boulder is five feet tall, and it's colored sort of brown with dark streaks and spots on it. That's blood. Leaning, leaning against it is a bamboo staff. In the mud around the base of the boulder, something begins to move. Oh, boy. It looks like a crayfish. It faces you and seems to be aware of your presence. Hi, crayfish. I would like to dive into the mud. Oh, holy crap. I apologize. Uh, you said looks like a crayfish. You did not say it looks like a crayfish who... Uh, uh, no, that that's a not... A very big no. crayfish. Hmm. I think now I know some crawdaddies back home. Okay. None of them look big enough to be able to put as, me in a gumbo. As it looks at you, it like waves its claws in the air. And if... I mean... And, and it, it, it clicks... It clicks and makes noises. I mean, it, maybe it's like, hey, 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 hey. Oh, like hey. Zoe, hey, get over here. Yes. Mine, mine. Can okay. I cast speak with animals? Sure. All right, it's okay. I'm going to cast it. Uh, okay. And Sister Aggie's just going to begin to start trying to speak back to Is it speaking in clicks? So it's clicking, but as you cast the spell, like the clicks start to make sense to you, and you hear it say, uh, "Who is this? Who dares enter the guardian of the chamber?" <laughs> Sister Aggie, oh, you'd better go. My goodness, you are a guardian, aren't you? And look at how strong you are with those claws. Is she clicking back to him? Is she just making clicks? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's like, oh. she's probably actually doing like a clap. Click, click, click. click. <laughs> all right. Oh, He's I like... thought she was just clacking all of her old bones, <clears throat> popping her hip every now and then. <laughs> he says, uh, he says, listen, wrinkly one, I'll have to discharge my sacred duty if you come in here. Be off with you before I lose my temper. Oh, so fearsome. Perhaps you could allow us just. <laughs> a bit of your, your grace to hear your story. I'd love to learn all about you. Hey! You back out of my room! You back out, or I'll snip you with these, you old lady. And he starts, like, clacking his So uh, when, he, when, when she uh, hears old lady, all of a sudden it's like, Sister Aggie is young at heart. You will not speak to Sister Aggie that way. And then she's just gonna ready an attack. Does that translate over, though, for the for the crayfish? Um, I, no, I feel like she stops speaking with the clacks, and that's all the party hears. Okay, okay. And the creature, the creature does not, uh, does not back down. It sort of moves forward a little bit, taking a defensive stance, uh, and and looking at everyone like not. You 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 all have a feeling if you step into the room, it, it's gonna it's gonna take an attack at you. Uh, uh -huh. sis, Sister oh. Aggie would let them know, like. Well, it seems, dears, that he will not let us pass, no matter how kindly I spoke to him. I suggest we dispatch him post haste. Mm, now, yeah. I I do enjoy that concept, but I just thought I would check with the GM because I just think I need to return some favors. Um, I could I use a handle animal uh, on uh, this here crawfish to see if uh to try to calm it. Yeah, just. See if we can't, uh, you know, kind of put it in a corner and walk around it or something in a, okay. a non-threatening okay. kind of way. Give me, give me, a, give me an animal, uh, an animal handling check. As she's doing that, can I just like sink down into the mud? So I'm just yes. Like, I'm like I. It's, not, it it's mud. not that deep fish spleen, but if you lie down, like you can get right. <laughs> yeah, down. I'll lie down. I'm gonna I'll just lie down. down really crawl. Oh, give him nice roll, cover. Queen Mother. Okay, so so listen, I'm gonna move Scarlet a bit here. And she sort of backs the crayfish away from from the entrance. Mm. And and Sister Aggie can hear, easy, 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 big girl, come on. 
<laughs> He's precious. And Scarlet doesn't understand any of this, but she's like, no. Now, uh, nope, nope. Good crayfish. Good crayfish. Now I tell you, nope. That's not how we act. Be good. Be good. <laughs> like it's a big dog. <laughs> sit, boo boo. Sit. Uh, for what? Maybe it's your, maybe it's your, you know, your, um, your barbarian bestial nature or what? But it, the crayfish has has backed up. You can. Uh, would you like to continue backing it up? A year old really well. <laughs> Twenty three there. Uh, yeah. I think I think I kind of want to just. Um... Uh, keep it there, and then kind of like uh, turn to everyone and be like, "All right, now, everyone, calm and steady. Just walk around the far way. No sudden movements, and uh, for heaven's sake, don't attempt to make eye contact with it." Yes, ma'am. Is it poisony in here as well? Yes, it is. Oh, let's let's go uphill. Let's find an up. That looks like a down over there. Sister Aggie would go for this bamboo. I'm really okay. hoping I'm not going to just kill every or kill everybody. So, so you're going to you're going to take the bamboo staff? Uh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so when you when you grab hold of the bamboo staff and and Chris uh, Sister Aggie's speak with animals is still going. Uh, she uh, hears another voice and it's like, "Hey, hey, watch what you're touching!" And the big boulder uh, begins <laughs> to uh, begins to move. Um, uh, taking on the shape, of the, these crab arms come out, and it basically shiny. looks like a massive hermit, a massive hermit crab. Uh, and this bamboo uh, staff is actually one of its legs, and it's like, "Hey, do I know you? Do I know you?" And it's oh. like shifting its big butt around to look at Sister Aggie. My apologies, I, I did not see you. I. An old lady is just trying to find her way. Um, and the, cra perhaps... the crayfish is like, Wrigley one, how dare you talk to the guardian? Oh, dear. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, then, then, then it looks back at uh, Scarlet. And it's like, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Let me deal with the wrinkly one. The wrinkly yes. one is going to Scarlet. Carefully Scarlet doesn't understand any of this, around. but she's, yeah, she's she's picking up that this thing is uh l less calm, and she's like, I don't know what y'all are doing back there, but uh, I suggest you stop. <laughs> Kitty oh, agrees. <laughs> the cat agrees. Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! Uh, so so this big uh, this big uh, crab sort of moves here with sister aggie um disturbing some of the little rocks around just have my quarter staff at the ready waiting um sister aggie is just going to um profusely apologize and i did not see your your magnitude. I'm so very sorry. Um, we will be going. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Oh, I certainly can. Uh, and Tim, Tim Venkata and Nicola, uh, Kalal, sorry, have you all just sort of moved to the north end of that chamber and watched? Yeah, we're just, I'm just backing yeah. it up. Backing it up. Backing it up. The roll just six. I'm throwing it back. You rolled a six. Yep. Yep. Total. <clears throat> yep. Uh, what did and what? Wh sorry. What was the word you your your magnitude? Magnitude. Yeah. He, he's he's like uh, he's not happy with that. He's like magnitude. Did you just call me fat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm brushing up against you. And you hear, you hear the the, the crayfish is like. How dare you insult the guardian? And then lunges for Scarlet. Uh, oh. And we're we're gonna roll some initiative. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Hey! Ugh, man! Uh, you will want to make sure before you roll initiative that you have your token clicked on. Ooh, what? That's so. That's what'll migrate it across to the. Um, 
And if you're not, if you're using real dice or you're on roll twenty uh, and it doesn't work, let me know and I'll I'll just add you in. So, who am I missing? Scarlet. Oh, there we go. Nice. I got a, I got a twenty. Sir Tim. Yeah. Sir Tim got a twenty. Scarlet was thinking real hard about using her inspiration on that roll. Would you like to? Uh, no, I'll I'll keep that one. But uh, I. Uh... Uh, and, she's feeling like a between a rock and a hard place, or as it were, a hermit rock and a hard crayfish. And since we, and since we've all uh, started our first combat to, tonight, why don't we all roll a d6 and take that much poison damage? Rude. Oh, we, we can not. <laughs> Fish plane starting to feel a little sick. Ah. Nice. I love you guys rolling your own damage. It takes Oof. all the pressure off of me. It's not my fault that did that much damage to you. <laughs> uh, and Sister Aggie, you are first to react. You realize that this crab, having been, you know, obviously has been on, you know, maybe Weight Watchers or something and just is not able to handle uh, your your uh, misunderstood compliment. Um, so what does Sister Aggie do? Uh, first question. Is it just like a normal crab looking like there's no metal or anything attached to it? No, no. It looks, it looks like, I don't know if you know what a hermit crab is, but it basically is a little crab that like finds things to live in. Uh, so it's found a really big shell and, uh, yeah. Cool. Um, I am going to roll a vicious mockery. Oh, here we go. Like you just called it fat and you're going to taunt it again. Oh yeah. Sister Aggie would be like. I didn't say fat. If you'd like me to say fat, then I'd say you're enormous, you fat lard. <laughs> oh, I gotta wow. make, a, I make a wisdom so, save on that. Wisdom of 14. If we get this where I like accidentally roll with advantage or it automatically applies advantage and there's no advantage or disadvantage, I will always take the left side. So that is a six. So you are totally nailing this thing with your awesome. vicious So it mockery. takes seven damage, and it uh, will roll with disadvantage on its next attack roll. Yes, and you feel like attacking its weight is probably the right, you know, this is the right line. This is its, this is its touchy weakness. Uh, Sir Tim? See. What would you what? like to do as you see this massive crab begin to attack Sister Aggie, and further across the room, in sort of the shadows, the mist... You can see that Scarlet and the Crayfish are about to throw down, too. Uh, okay. I feel like we just walked into this thing's lair and we're kind of the baddies. But <laughs> since it's about to hit us, I'll go... Are we the bad guys? Are we the bad guys? Are we the bad guys? Are we the drama? Do you guys want me to just open up this door and leave? Or do you want me to <laughs> smoke this thing? Just be useful. Being useful would be good. <laughs> All right, I'll just I'll walk <laughs> forward. I don't with... think opening the door isn't useful. Yeah, well, is it, can I non-action the door, or is that a whole action? I'll let you, do you want to open the door and then rush in? I'm, uh... Yeah, there, the one behind open... me. Yeah, the one behind me. I'm really encouraging about this door. Are we sure we want to? If it, I, it seems like I don't want to be poisoned anymore, and I'm looking for a spot that's not going to TPK us in about three rounds. How's it looking? Uh, you see a tunnel behind you. Does it have yellow gas? Yes. Well, going in on the crab then. <laughs> Huzzah! All right. They roll the hit, I, I suppose, here. Yes. Ooh. Are you jumping right onto the crab there? Uh, I, I, why not? Okay, roll. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's roll see. It. Roll the hit and tell me uh, tell me where we're at. All right, we're at fourteen to hit. Fourteen. So you're and you're using Lightbringer. Correct. Yeah, your mace bounces off its shell. It doesn't like to be pet. I'm trying to pet you. Um, <laughs> but I am going to say that you push it back a bit. And Sister Aggie, since you can still understand what it's saying, it's it's like, come at me, armored foe, <laughs> feel my wrath. Oh boy. Oh boy. A sassy crab. Uh, uh Scarlet. Unless 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 Tim has anything else to do with his turn. 
I think I got two attacks. Oh, take the second attack then. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're playing fifth level. <laughs> uh, that that might hit. That's a uh, twenty-five, good sir. Twenty-five is a hit. Uh, how much damage did we inflict with this uh, mace? Uh, niner blood. <laughs> nice, nine bludgeoning. You put a dent. Maybe chip its shell a bit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I should have made the crab from Moana be like, shut, shut. Scarlet. All right. Uh, Scarlet is not happy about this thing lunging at her when she thought that it was going to be a good boy and stay. So she is going to uh, pull out her uh, great sword. Uh, it is a bonus action to rage, correct? Uh, correct. So I'm going to uh, rage. You're going to rage? Uh, nice. Then um, I'm going to take my two attacks against this thing. And uh, as she rages, she goes... I said that you were supposed to stay and sit. Bad boy. Bad. And she's going <laughs> to hit him twice. Oh, nice. Uh, that That is a hit. Mm. Nine and, slashing. Uh, and then you're raging, hit... so that would be too higher, right? There's a little uh, uh, button you can click on your thing for rage. There may oh. be a button you can click on your character sheet to let us know that you're raging, but that's fine. Oh, Nine. I did. My apologies. I uh, Yes, I would be plus two on that one, but I will rage again. Or I'm not raging. I will hit again with my rage. Um, and... There you go. Oh, nice. <clears throat> there we go. So uh, two so swings she's... on the crayfish. Yeah. Uh... Well done. Well done. And uh, uh, if I else? get close to any of my companions... Uh, you do get a, a plus, but no one's within five feet of me, so. Oh, totem of wolf. I'm trying to decide if she wants to move close or not. Up to you. Can I can I stand just south of, or I guess west of uh, Sister Aggie, or is that? Yep. <clears throat> if you move up here, you will take an attack of opportunity from the crawfish. Yeah. The crayfish. Mm. Mm. No, I'm I'm busy putting that crawfish in its place, so I'm gonna stay right where I am. Okay. Uh, he lets he lets out a bunch of clicks and clacks. Um, I, and Ben has enraged the enemy as well. I forgot that um, that I believe Alyssa enraged the enemy. So I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna use Alyssa's bonus first. I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, all the creatures this turn advantage, and then I will use Ben's next turn. So here we go. Two attacks from the crayfish on Scarlet. Uh, the first one is a 23. And the second one is a 12. So I think the 23 probably hit. Uh, yeah, hit and a miss. And she is going to say, how rude. How rude. Uh, not only does it hit you, but it grapples you with, with that hit. Um, you take 14 bludgeoning damage. And you are considered grappled. Which I that's, that... she she take half that though. Yeah, half because you're yeah. rage, right? So seven. Uh and then the uh the other Kalka Kyla. Oh, that's who I rolled with. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Crayfish the same. No. Okay, take that damage back for me. It's the same. All right, if you insist. The same to hit. Um, I just have to roll the damage here. It's a d10 plus two. So instead, it did two damage, plus two is four, and then half. To, you only took two damage. My All bad. right. I, I, I don't mind that so much. Now, the Guardian is going to... It, it's really angry with Sister Aggie, so it's going to try to hit Sister Aggie. It has advantage, but it also... From the chat's buff, but it has disadvantage for yours. So this is just going to be a regular attack for the first one on Sister Aggie. And we'll take the one on the left... Which is a 14. Does that hit Sister Aggie? Uh, yes, it does. Oh, no. Sister Aggie takes seven bludgeoning. And is grappled. Pretty tough. Uh, it then strikes out at, uh, at Sir Tim with its other attack. This one has advantage. So 15 doesn't hit Sir Tim, though. He has a ridiculously high armor class, correct? Gets a shield or armor in front of it. So, Sister Aggie, you are in the clutches of the uh, 
of the Guardian. And I'm trying to find the net, which seems to be eluding me. There it is. Okay. All right. So, uh, Venkata, what are you going to do? Um, okay. So, I'm going to... Because fish doesn't look super great, right? After all that. Like, I'm all the start. damage you took before. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cast Healing Spirit on... On, um... Fish Spleen. On Fish Spleen? Yep. Okay. Does Healing Spirit, is that the, the like, the beam that we have to track where it is? I think yeah. it's like a ball that rolls around. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a five-foot range, or a five-foot, um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that. Th oh, maybe not pink though. As that hits me, I look over my shoulder and look at you, very surprised, thinking I was pretty hidden in the. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, you're doing, so, you did great, sweetie. It's okay. So fish no, plane, glowing ball around. <laughs> and and that, fish plane, it's your turn now, my man. The Sorry, the, the, the golden heal? light. The golden light comes down, heals you for five. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, I will belly crawl through the mud around behind this crab. Maybe here. Yep. And then I'm going to pop out just my eyes and try and stick it in the back with my rapier. And gank it? Yeah. I will cast a booming blade, though. Okay, cool. Roll to hit. Kind of sneak attack here? If you hit, yeah. Well, yeah. You don't. You don't have advantage. You just have a regular attack. Correct. Uh, Eighteen to hit. That, that is a hit. That is a hit. So it takes uh, twenty-two damage. I will then disengage. Yes. And I'm gonna go over here. Uh, Sister Aggie, you hear the the crab cry out in pain as the little goblin uh, ganks it there. And as uh, I stab, I go, "Oi!" <laughs> Oi! Okay, monk. Let's do some dope monk shit. Dope monk shit. I'm gonna step over here. Do you, do you make any trunk. Yeah, monk with a trunk. <laughs> monk with a trunk. That should be a rap. Someone sing that. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was uh, one, two, three, six, seven. And I'm gonna attack... Uh, the big shiny crab. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 and an 18. Yeah, both of those hit. All right. And unarmed strike. Ooh. Ooh. 13. The unarmed, the unarmed strike doesn't hit. Okay. And Your stunning... fat elephant knuckles bounce off its shell. Stunning strike. Stunning strike? Yes. Do I have to make a roll for that? You do. It is a DC. Hang on, let me figure out my DC here. One sec. Sir Tim's God is speaking to him. Use this <laughs> inspiration to crit and smite. Okay. Yeah. So you have inspiration now. Rewarded from Earthos Creations. Uh, right. And I'm sorry. Did Do I, I have to make a... Uh, it's a 13 DC. Con save? Left side, seven. Stunned. Until the end shit. of my next turn. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, and he's stunned? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's oh, yeah. stunned. Uh, Sister Aggie. Get him, Sister Aggie. The the guardian in front of you is stunned. Yeah. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that somehow the monk kicked the crab in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where those are on a crab. Right in the bottom of it. The this guardian's is shiny. voice, it raises slightly. It's like... Oh. Um, and then it stops moving. Sister Aggie would be like, well, that's what you get when you're so fat. Your balls just hang out. <laughs> uh, Does Sister Aggie say that in the animal speak? Like, click and clack? Or out loud? Oh, yeah, of course oh. she does. Yeah. Insulting with the clacks. I feel, I, yeah, I feel like we need like a, um, a pantomime for this, like it was just like, and then down below, uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I've never done this before, so it might be. Oh no! Process. I'm going to first roll cloud of daggers as my normal attack. Okay. Uh, and center it on them, 
I'm going to roll it a second level. So, uh, my spell attack is... Spell of Daggers is a five-foot circle, correct? Cute. Like, like, like it takes... I don't think I've ever seen someone cast Clouded Daggers. But it's only five foot, so that's one square, right? Yeah. So it's a 16 against them? Where do you want it? The front like corner? On the, in the yeah. middle? Like the middle, yeah. Okay, so I have to make a deck save? No, it's just a 16 against their armor class. Oh, that doesn't hit. Oh, that does hit, sorry. That does that hit. Does How hit? much damage? 11 damage. Look, look, math but is hard. Then I'm going to use my bonus action to roll... <laughs> I mean, it's going to use a Bardic Inspiration yes. for my, which isn't here, Tale from Beyond. So I'm going to roll a d12, and that's going to tell us what happens. Okay. This is where it gets complicated. Here we go, folks. It's time uh, so roll. it's a nine. So the table tells me that I'm going to tell the tale of the Brute. Okay. So uh, do you want me to tell the story? Sure. Okay, well, well, we'll see what happens. So each creature of my choice mm -hmm. um, that I can see within 30 feet must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes thunder damage equal to three rolls of my Bardic Inspiration die and is knocked prone. Uh, a creature that succeeds on its saving throw takes half as much. Okay, what <laughs> saving throw is it? That's a wonderful question. Uh, I feel, what would it go off of? I, I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. Um, mm -hmm. well, the hermit crab is stunned, so he just auto fails. Would just right? be my sit my spell save, maybe. Sure. Do it's I do 14. want me? So I'm making what kind of a saving throw? A strength. Think? Oh, it's a strength. Yeah. Oh no, saving oh, throws are different, right? They're that's the wrong one. Hold on. I got. I rolled for the crab. I got to roll for. Oh yeah, I rolled a seven. So no. So give Wonderful. me the damage, and he's knocked prone. Yes. Yikes. Got him. This poor crab's had a bad he's day. Stunned and prone? He's like stunned. So he's gonna take prone 26 damage. Wow. And as Sister Aggie is standing there, she's gonna begin weaving her hands through the air. And she's gonna say, Let me tell you the tale of the brute. Once there was a man so fat that he fell off of his ass. The donkey, of course. Before he was riding, and it was much too small for the weight of his gravity. Mm -hmm. And he rode to town thinking that he would capture all of the lusty maidens that he could. But he forgot that he was so large that he would not find his... Well, that's when he fell off the donkey. He would not find his... Fell off the donkey. Uh, listen, you killed the guardian. Good. The tail of the brute crushes it. Um, again, attacking its its weight, and it it sort of falls prone onto its back, onto its shell, with its legs up in the air, and they just sort of shake and quiver in as it, as it tightens into a ball. Uh, Sir Tim. Uh, and Zoidberg still chilling over there. Yes. Sister Aggie, ask him if he still wants to fight. Is he still getting after it? Oh, he looks, still, he looks still angry. He looks still angry. Oh, okay. He looks still angry? Okay. All right. He, well, he's he's also uh, grief-stricken now at the death of his guardian. Oh, so who knows what he'll do? Who knows what he'll do? All right, Ertho. Let's see what happens. Here we We're go. going in. We're going in with the roll advantage? Yep. That was not good. That was... Uh, so the first swing with the inspiration, I guess, was uh, a... Let's see, 14 to hit. That does not hit. That All right, I'll go hit. with my next, my next hit. That's a nat 20. Uh, oh, that worked. That's... All right, then I'll smite him then. All right. All oh, right. I feel like this is going to be a waste of a smite, but since, you know, you're, you're hooking us up in chat. Uh... <laughs> just, my, just use a first level, you know. Yeah. yeah Moder all things in moderation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. It's a... Oh, so it's... Uh... How do you do your crits? Are you going to max the die and modify, or are you be double roll? Oh, no, double double dice, double dice. Okay. So two. So, so your smite usually does two d eight, right? So it would do four d eight, and your mace yep. would double up as well. So thirteen bludgeoning. I love it. Yep. 
Team bludgeoning and lots of radiant. Uh, let's see. This 10, may be the end. And let's see, 14 radiant. So 24 in total. Correct. You smite him. And so his, yeah, you come in and your your mace comes down and you know cracks uh, cracks his his shell. And he stops moving a lot and then sort of collapses down into Apparently the mud. Apparently, has problems with slime. Price. Yeah, let, letting go, of course, of, uh, Is of just Scarlet. Does it just else feel bad for these crustaceans? <laughs> a uh, little bit. Uh, no. I feel, a little, I feel a little guilty all of a sudden. Yeah, they were just blowing out in here. And we just kind of, oh, well. Maybe you need some butter? <laughs> I'm sorry. He got a little handsy. I have no sympathy for what came to him. Thank you, Sir Tim. He received assistance. justice. Bitch, Indeed. damn it. Get back over here so I can fix you. I need Is you to Scarlet, move back onto um, that square. <laughs> yeah, how, like how many rounds can people stand in that I can, square? I can do it two more times. I think you can roll it around. You can. I can, yeah. I can move it 30 feet. But So it, let's I'll decide who's there. getting heals from that, and then where are we going? Anywhere without gas. Well, the yeah. north door is open. Uh, S Scarlet wouldn't mind uh, getting a little bit of that uh, healing there, but uh, uh, the so the west door is not far from me either. Do you want to open it and see? After I get the healing, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, fish gets back four, and then if Scarlet comes over here, I'll give you a heal as well. Oh, is there... I didn't add the modifier last time. I just did the... whatever you had rolled, the five. Oh, I think it's... I, is there a modifier on that? Is there supposed to be a modifier on that? Hang on, let me double check. I can't remember. Okay, well, hey, while we uh, do this, if you're here in chat and you would like to enter our draw for the dice giveaway, uh, just do exclamation point ticket, and we'll enter your name in that draw. Um, if you, if you are so inclined to donate, um, which you can, I think you can bring up the donate with, is it exclamation donate? Let's see. There's no modifier on that one. If you follow that link and make a donation, I can't necessarily see the donation if you follow that particular link. So let me know if you've gone and done that and we'll give the characters of the monsters a buff. The monsters oh. still have a hanging buff from, um, we did the entire route. We buffed all the monsters in the room. To get advantage with uh, with Alyssa's uh, buff, and we still have a hanging buff for the monsters from um, from Ben. So the next monster we fight will also have advantage. I think uh, Sophia made a donation. Yes, I was about to say Sophia actually donated to our team. Oh, that's awesome! So does Sophia want a? Sophia, are we buffing the monsters or the party? You tell I need, me. I need to know that before I lay on hands. I'm about. I'm like. I'm, I'm paused right now. I'm like, whoop. The party. I will give the. Uh, I'll give the party uh, on behalf of Sophia a inspiration. Everyone in the party can get an inspiration. Oh, and Earthos donated to me too. Did Earthos donate too? Yeah. Thank oh, you, Earthos. Well then, Sorry, I didn't have my you, page up. That's Sir Earthos. I'm feeling a lot. Sir, Sir Earthos. Earthos. I'm feeling a lack of air horns here for the donations. But... So does Earthos, <laughs> Earthos, do you want to buff the party or the, um, do you want to buff the party or the, uh, the monsters? Let me know in chat. <clears throat> so party, make sure you've noted that you have one inspiration on your character sheet. That'll let you basically. Thanks, Sophia. Your... Oh, um, what if we, uh, had an inspiration that we've, uh, hadn't used yet? Two. Then turn turn it into two, if it'll let you. Uh, it won't let you, but I'm keeping track of mine on the right side above where it says like all of your tasks. Yep. You can or just write it down on a sticky note or something there yeah. beside you. I mean, if you wanted to go old school with it, sure. Uh, so Scarlet Heal seven. Did we did we catch that? I did indeed catch that. Thank you so much. Okay, Tim, are we opening the western door there? Yep, I'm going to lay on hands for 10, just in case this thing is a real spicy door. I'm going to... Okay, it is, not, it is not a really spicy door. You see a tunnel headed to the west, and then stairs descending. 
Is it more yellow? Does it seem oh, yellow yeah. in nature than that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This this tunnel is also full of yellow gas. Well, there's one more door. If you guys want to check the one on the stairs. And these stairs to the north go up. Uh, the stairs to the north go down. Oh. Hmm. Do you want to investigate that door, or do you want to... Oh, yeah, I would definitely if he said that. So, the landing at the foot of this short flight of steps is filled with mud and silt, and it blocks the door leading north. The door is meant to open inward, uh, for there are hinges on this side and a large grip to pull on, but with all the silt and mud on the floor, it's it, you don't think it's going to. You don't think it's going to open. Hmm. Uh, might there be a, a strength check that uh, could be done to see if we could force it open? If you can try. Grab, they could have dug it out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to pull on it, there, Scarlet? Uh, give, I think so. Give us a strength check. I ain't yeah. mad at these rolls tonight. This is le this is legit strength here, and you maybe only get it open an inch or so before the sand and silt just sort of you f you feel it, the grit grinding and all that, and the door won't open. Mm. All right. Um, I you wish do I see had some a... of the sand and grit though, and, and the water sort of spilling around that little bit of a opening that you've made. Oh, water. Mm. Uh, I wish I had a good southern uh, colloquialism for something that is stuck fast, but I can't, it doesn't come to me quite yet, but uh, I suggest uh, strongly that um, if, I, if I ain't opening that thing, I don't, I, I don't think that's the way we uh, will be Stuck going. faster than a jar of pickles. Mm, yeah, something <laughs> like that, or raccoon with his hand in a trap or something, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, while they're mucking about with the doors, I'm going to yes. check the bodies for All anything right. useful. You check the bodies. Or around, like in his little yeah. muddy hidey hole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, give me a, uh, maybe an investigation check? How about that? Sure. Mm, Sister Eggy, uh, you Sixteen. can take your walking stick now if you want from... <clears throat> His giant leg. Yes, you can take one of his legs if you'd like. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's here, awesome. here, let me help. And I'm going to hack one off for you. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, this is Aggie with the like, oh, Thank you so much. An old woman needs a prop once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. And I mean, your story about the brute was just so charming. I figured, you know. Affy, yes. you don't find anything. Okay. I press digitate to clean myself off. Okay. Well, oh. so I don't suppose. I guess we're I not sharing those, way. eh? Oh, you want to be clean too? <laughs> oh my, yes, please. <laughs> Cleanse okay. me. Cleanse me. Anybody else? Oh, you're such a darling. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, Sister, I'm going, I I don't want to lead the way after possibly getting us in danger twice now, but I do <laughs> believe we need to be moving. North or south, friends? And the door to the north is open. Might as well go that way. That's mm. fair. Technically, it is east. the only one that doesn't but seem to be you. leading to stays. Stay. The door up. <laughs> the, the up door. Yes, I like the up yeah. door. Okay, is Tim leading the way with his Huzzah! glowing mace? I'm just Huzzah! running. I'm just running with the mace. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> uh, so Tim, when you get to about there, oh, the, the walls chat. of the corridor are pretty wet and slimy, and the stucco covering has become saturated with water and is decomposing and slogging off in spots on the southern wall. That's on the wall on this side, <clears throat> exposing the seams of one of the large stone blocks from which this structure was built. And it looks like it's freestanding. I'm going to back it up. Boop. Back it up. Boop. And I'm going to ask Master Blaster to go check it out. <laughs> 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 
back in the day. Is that me? That, yeah. that is, I think that is yeah. you, Fish. <laughs> You're a master blaster. Master uh, ass blaster. I'm just going to let that one go. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Because your okay. farts clear out a room. <laughs> well, I think I... <laughs> So okay. there is there is a large limestone block that essentially looks like a plug there. Um, I think I should have put more points into investigation. There is stucco sort of slogging off of it. I can Slashing, help. Slogging. I'm investigating is kind of my jam. Hold well, up, everybody. What am I doing? What up here? could happen? A giant you're bar sneaky. Fall down. Sister Aggie would cast guidance on him. So that he can add a D on who? to his role on uh, Mr. Fish Ass Blaster. A Master Ass Blaster? Ass Blaster? Now Master. his name is Ass Blaster? Master Ass Blaster. Master Ass Blaster. Yeah, Fish okay. Blaine. On, I prefer um, Fish Blaster, but. Nicola. Okay. And what, what, are you, what are you doing exactly now that you have guidance? I don't know. I'm waiting for them Checking to tell me what I'm doing. Hey, Checking sure, for traps. You're going to look for traps. Okay. With the guidance. Uh, investigation? or uh, like 18 for mm -hmm. me. He's looking for traps. Yeah, you look for traps. 18? Yeah. Um, Nico, can can I ask, is is this worse for you with with your uh, um, certain um, Je ne sais quoi. ability to um, uh, smell things that is does this stink more for you? I mean, it's no more stinky than you guys are. Man. Man. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. my, holy cow. Don't pull any punches, monk. <laughs> Ideal. Truth. Uh, <laughs> I care about so the truth as, above all else. <laughs> uh, listen, as you begin to uh, search uh, the wall for traps, um, the all the goo and sort of um plaster that's sort of stucco that's sort of falling away uh it begins to eat at your fingertips yikes moving on then you're gonna take you're gonna take one acid damage uh you think it's maybe it's maybe made with lime and it's it's pretty acidic however you are able to clear enough around that you think this you know with some investigate you think this block could be moved if enough people put some force into it uh, don't think um, we should go. What about if somebody casts shatter on it? How about we just don't deal with it? Or, Obviously, or it was plucked for a reason. But what, what if? It, what and it's you, literally it, like it's melted going. off my fingertips. Afi, I'm too curious for this. Come on. I feel like it's a lot of acid in there. <laughs> just put a I wasn't out of character, Rune. God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and hide. <laughs> I think we should just leave this one alone. Fine, you know, it's that it kind alone. of thing where, you know, the door is closed, something is in there, wedged in there. It it's was probably in there for a reason. Look, blue. there's no up. Yeah, let's go up. Do you really need to know? I mean, I'm resistant to acid, so I could try. So, no. uh, ahead, okay. ahead, you can see a staircase that goes up, but only for a few steps. And then it seems that the rest <sighs> is filled in with clay and stone rubble. Back up. That sucks. All right, south door, <laughs> west door, whatever. Go west. Left. I'm just running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Step hate of the to say that, that I, run by I suggested this way, but you know, we'll. Okay, sassy. As, as you reach the uh, the west side of this room, how about everybody rolls a d6? <sighs> Do we have to? what? What's the frequency uh, that we're taking this damage here? Somewhere in over. the neighborhood of 30 minutes. Mm. Are we getting immune to it yet, though? I feel like we're building up, you know what I mean? I had. feel like if you want to believe that, you can. Okay, excellent. I mean, I, I'm all for, like, um, self-realization. So if you, wanna, if you want to say that that's happening, certainly. Okay. Is anybody I'm... really bad off right now? Because I can't help a bit. I'm okay right I'm now. I'm at 28, so I theoretically have Oof. two rounds. 
Who needs to heal? I can pass some of those. I'm just going to run down the hallway, though, just in case. See if we can get out of here. Oh, we can go down. You're laying on hands as you run by. It's just smacking them on the ass. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who needed it? I could use one. Five. Good game. Good game. Yes, thank you. I, I could use <laughs> High fives of healing. High fives of healing. High potions and potpourri. I will let you smack my ass for five hit points. Oh, my God. <laughs> what we all... <laughs> Uh, you need to be careful when you smack an elephant's ass. That is a big Why? ass. Why? You think she's going to miss or something? She's a big ass and elephants never forget. It's true. But I gave permission, so it's okay. Consent awesome is important. Be to play an elephant. I only have five left. Get an, uh, an extra five from me. Uh, oh, oh, thank everyone you. took their damage from the poison in the tunnel, right? Yes. Okay, and now we've done some healing. And we're I only did not need the lay on hands. Two rooms I, in. Oh, so you don't want the lay on hands? I don't. No, I will. I'll be okay for now. Okay, great. That's sweet. But uh, no, save it for later. Jeez. You you can give it to me later. So can, I, can I do the rogue thing to this door from? Uh, the rogue thing? Yeah, absolutely. You want to give me? I'll, uh, I'll assist with the rogue thing. Are you? Do you? Would you like to use perception? or Are you going to get right in there and investigate? Um. I'm going to use my mage hand to do it. Hold the rope. rope. Hold the rope. Oh, you're going to use your mage hand? I like that. You know, like, actually use the character's advantages for... Yeah. Let's do that. I'm still working on being a rogue here, okay? Okay, just, okay. Just bear with me. So go ahead and I'm give sorry, me I'm sorry. I thought we were trying a, for a TPK. No? Give me... Well, we always are, actually. Give me a perception check, I guess, there, Fish Spleen. How about investigation? Great guidance from me, too. Sure. Okay. The sister Aggie like her new if that's what stick. it takes. Thanks, right. Andrew. She's gonna lift it up and like uh, so it against her head. Twenty six. Thank Thanks, you, Andrew. Uh, Twenty six. <laughs> the door looks okay. <laughs> door looks okay. <laughs> I don't know what you you're telling. You Second open wind it? for Sister Aggie. You're gonna <laughs> open it. Hey, sister <laughs> Aggie can roll two d ten and heal that much. Wait, what? Well, you got second winded, so you get 2d10 hit points back. Are we good with that? There you go. Uh, this, room, this room is wet, and the walls are covered with slimy white buildup. Similar to the stucco from the block that burnt your fingertips. It's all over the walls here. There is about an inch and a half of water and mud blanketing the floor, and many overturned pedestals and pieces of broken statuary lie on the floor partially buried in the mud opposite the entrance to this room is another door only one pedestal remains standing in the northwest corner that's that's up uh that's down here uh, yes and on it sits a metallic three-sided pyramid what okay um we yep. think a d4 a d4 <laughs> Uh, overhead in in the shadow draped ceiling are inlaid colored tiles depicting a starry sky and forming strange patterns in the areas above where the pedestals once stood. Be careful on touching the walls, everyone. Not going to go well for you. Mm. Investigate. I, I do pyramid. have to ask, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, Venkata, uh, how is it that you are, uh, immune to acid? How, how? I'm not exactly immune to it, but I'm resistant to it. Because, and I point at my black scales, because my parentage. Huh. All this time traveling together, now I didn't know that. That's... I mean, that's... I breathe acid on things sometimes. Oh, yeah, I picked up that. We thought you were puking. That comes in handy. <laughs> Just projectile vomiting. Yeah. yeah. Projectile yeah. vomiting. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so you step down into the mud and that, and the so this room would be considered uh, difficult terrain. So we're paying oh, double for for movement. Where's the uh, D four approximately? Okay. Right about, right about there. And what do the pictures above one of the other ones look? Like... Just they're stars, but they seem to be gathered in in different patterns 
over where they... the pedestals once stood, but they've all been knocked down. Do they look like broken. constellations? Yeah. Uh, sure. Do they look like constellations we recognize? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, can I inspect this D4? Yes. Uh, so the small, the small the... pyramid looks to be made of silver, maybe? Hmm. Uh, I poke it with my mage hand. Okay. Gra grabs door at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing happens. I caress it gently with my mage hand. Nothing. Well, nothing happens. It purrs and says, oh, what a lovely tea party. Wait, <laughs> but the others were knocked off their pedestals. Yes. Yeah, so the, uh, lying about the room, you can see like a broken, p broken yeah. statuary that looks like maybe were once different animals, like a coyote, a crab, an alligator, a Take feathered warrior, and a jaguar. Is it um, heavier than Mage Hand would be to pick up? No, you can totally pick it up with your Mage Hand. Okay, I just knock it off the pedestal. Mage hand. Okay. Into the mud. <laughs> I, I can't get through the door. <laughs> what do you mean you can't get through the door? Like, did Hang somebody on. shut the door? Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. We're not Hang heating on. the outside. <laughs> shut the door. You're raising a barn? Uh, Tim, you look oh, like you're wanting to open that next door. Do you want to do that? Just take a look. So, you know, the water and slime from this room sort of has dribbled under the door and created a small, you know, small stream fluid. Mm. That happens mm. to things after a certain amount of time. They Good get boy. leaky. Hey. Hey. Ask, the sister. Ask, ask the sister. You should do and your kegels I often. Identify on those Jesus. figurines. Uh, sure. I uh, like the spell identify before you do that you i mean oh you're a bard though do you have do you want to make a religion check uh i absolutely would love to okay. with my plus seven but i rolled a four so 11 well 11 not bad i mean you came here uh to discover sort of the lost the lost city of tomoa chan and th these some of these animals you happen to know could be depictions of their ancient gods. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do with that information, but it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Including, uh, the, including the triangle. Ooh. ooh. Okay, that, that kind of changes things. It's um, a triangle. Get it. It's a triangle, the, their god of evil writing, like, not writing as well. uh, with with only an eleven, Sister Aggie is not sure what religious significance the triangle is. Okay, um, Sister Aggie would try to put them all back where they're supposed to belong. Okay, and, and look for like a hierarchy. All right, so so I'm gonna say Sister Aggie's doing that. Some of the other party has moved down the tunnel, so let's address that. Um, the walls and ceiling of this hallway are coated with slime, and the floor of the passage is covered with a layer of mud. Through this muck, a steady stream of water trickles northward. The stucco on the walls is flaking off, and there are glowing silver uh, tracks in the slime crisscrossing the walls and ceiling. Along the east wall of the passageway stands a 12-foot-tall stone statue of a man outfitted in fine clothing and holding a stone tray in his raised arms. Its eyes appear to be black gemstones. The right one droops out of its socket, balancing on the statue's cheek. Boy, oh, easy pickings, eh? When I come running up. <laughs> From behind the left shoulder protrudes the hilt of a weapon, most likely a sword. The stone tray, as well as the forehead and the nose of the statue, are chipped and scratched. Hmm. Just make sure you look for traps before you do anything stupid. Uh, stupid. Hit history check. Okay. Same. Be my guest. History away. Fifteen. That's, all That's a natural together. one. 
I think mine's a one. I don't know what this is. It's kind of freaky though. Yeah, you're not uh, you're not really sure what to make of it. Fifteen. Oh, that would be a, a twenty-two for Scarlet. Ooh. Sorry, I've got kids invading my room. Um, sorry, a fifteen. And, and a twenty-two, and a 22 for 22. Scarlet. Oh wow. Um, you don't think this is a representation representation of a god, um, but it's definitely like some sort of a warrior. Mm. And as you guys sit there pondering, you also notice that like you think maybe maybe the sword could be pulled off his back. Mm. I think that I probably notice that as I scamper up it and try to steal the gems out of the eyes. Okay, fish spleen, up you go. Um. So as Flish, Fish Spleen goes up, uh, his weight uh, onto the the uh, tray that the the statue has in front of it, it out overbalances it and topples into the hallway. And it looks like I've got Scarlet near the statue. Scarlet and Fish Spleen, can you both give me a dexterity saving throw as the massive statue topples down? You were oh, supposed bro. to check it for traps. Oh, yeah. I was going to use my main chance. Whoops. As soon as my roll 20 reloads. I got that's, a little excited. That's Sorry. okay. Uh, don't rogues have something for that? Or am I thinking of bar uh, barbarians? Barbarians have advantage. Okay. So, sorry. What kind of save is it? Dex. Dex. And, uh, and Scarlet have one. advantage. I, I would like to. I just l would like to uh, double check as I do have uh, danger sense, and yep. I I can use this in this particular situation. Yes, you can. Yeah, I would like to use an inspiration on that. Thank okay, you. go ahead. Go ahead and use an inspiration. Uh, you still. I'm much better. Roll very well. Uh, and Queen Mother, roll again because you should have advantage, and we're going to take the highest one. Spectacular. Uh, all right. Get my roll twenty back up. Oh, I like that roll much nice. better. Nice, nice. Okay, so uh, Queen Queen doesn't take any damage. She dodges out of the way. Uh, Ryan, roll two d six, and that's how much bludgeoning damage you take as you're squished between the wall and the statue, and your your goblin nose sort of twists funny. Oh no. So with my 22, there's no way I could uh, attempt to catch the statue and prevent any of that. Uh, no, I want to hurt. I want to hurt the goblin. So. All right. Well, I tried. Uh, however, when the statue is toppled, you notice that there is a four foot. There, there, there's a narrow passageway four feet above the floor. Mm. Oh. It. <laughs> and uh, might I uh, look at that uh, their sword that came tumbling right to my feet? Absolutely. Um, the, uh, yes. the gems that were in the eyes, are they like a particular type of Absol gem? Absolutely. Each one is a piece of polished obsidian worth 10 gold pieces. You greedy son of a so-and-so. We'll spend that in the next session. Yeah. <laughs> Hold um, on. So I just want to use this. That's right. That's God, I'm rolling bad. So as you um, reach for the sword uh, and you draw it out, the sword is actually made of a laminated wood and inset with jagged teeth of obsidian. This will be considered a plus one longsword, but if you hit a plant creature, it would do an extra 2d6. Oh. Unfortunately, all there's right. no plant creatures in this entire dungeon. That's all right. It'll be good for uh, you, trimming you the birds. You don't know that, right? You don't know that. I don't, because I didn't look at this module. <laughs> Actually, <didn't. laughs> this is all very, very sketchy now. Very suspect. Very, sketchy. very suspect. Okay, so hold on. And a I'm the I'm cheater. Move. Yeah. I didn't well. look. I have the book mm. over there, but he did call Breaking you door, out on that. Opening door. He call you out on that. Okay. Hold on. Let me get. Uh, let me get. Scarlet, her longsword. Oh, oh, yeah, doing just, this? just to clarify, n no one else is at, at all interested in this here longsword, right? Just, yeah. just uh, to be fair. I see an S on the map. Is that metagaming? 
No, no. There, when no, the, he when the statue the trap topples, door. when the statue topples, you see a an an opening about four feet off the ground behind it. Ooh. So I said, are we going to do the trap or door or the door? Hold on, hold, hold here. I'll go take a look. Always secret door. It, it was a small opening. No, is anyone other than the goblin able to to fit their physique through this uh, here opening? Uh, anyone can can, but the goblin certainly fits easier. Uh, can I just scamper up? I'm just I want to run up the hall and look around the corner. Yeah, go ahead. Can I do so stealthily? <laughs> uh, sure. Twenty. I'm just checking if I've coded this. I was like, yep. "Why did a long sword just get rolled at me?" <laughs> <laughs> well, the DM's buffering. Go check out our Heroes for CF fundraiser. You can donate and help or hinder the party. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now back, Fl Fish Spleen. You squeeze up and into the tunnel and. Um, up and around. Water beads collect upon the walls of this narrow passage, and the floor is cold and damp. A low ceiling, only about five feet tall, further cramps this dank place. You can see that it goes around the corner, and then you can see what maybe once would have been a secret door ahead, but it's broken and lies open. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so it is pa that's passable? Like, that's not rubble? Yes. It's okay. a tight squeeze for everyone. But but you could go this way. Absolutely. Uh, Sister Aggie, you have uh, arranged and... Uh, give, me a, give me another religion check to see if you've maybe put them where you best feel they, you know... An 18. Yeah, so a lot of the pieces are broken. Like, the hawk's head is in, like, three pieces. So you kind of just pile it on a pillar. But you do your best to reassemble everything... And and nothing really happens. Mm. That's too bad. Uh, is besides the pieces, does anything about like where they were sitting stand out? Uh only that it's in a pattern. Like th there's one here in this corner. There's one in another corner. Like one in each of these little alcoves, and then there were then there were two more in the center of the room, totaling uh, six. Scarlet is uh, going to go back and check on Sister Aggie. So you come in, you can see that the pillars have been righted up right, and pieces have been Ooh. put on top, and she's looking very perplexed. Mm. Sister Aggie, uh, uh, I know you're probably mm, wanting to redecorate or, or tidy up a bit. Uh, <laughs> goodness knows it could use it, but um, I'm not quite sure as to why this, this here is taking priority. What What's got your uh, bee in a bonnet? There appears to be an order. There's some sort of religion at foot here, and yet I can't figure out what it is. Ooh, do you want me to do a religion check? I can do that. I'm a paladin. Interesting. I should probably I'm a paladin. Doing I mean, I was it looks nothing, like you need a yes. hero, and I just happen to be a hero. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Can I, do, can I do dumb stuff while they're doing that? Like what kind of dumb stuff? Like come up to here and look look around. Yeah, absolutely. You want to go up and look through that tunnel? I'd like to squeeze my little body through there and yep. See what's up this way. So you totally do that. Um, so oh, that's as you, yeah, the passageway is slime covered and a stream of water trickles away from the door uh, and then pools. Uh, there is condensation on the walls, doors, and ceiling, some of which drips down on you. And a quiet sound of dripping and splashing echoes in the corridor. There's a door that's tightly sealed and appears to be warped outward or wedged shut. The door's hinges are mounted on this side. That's the one up at the far end here. Okay. I'm just trying to see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this other door in front of me? 
Like the one uh, on the top looks wedged? Th this one here? Uh, yeah. No, the other. it's the other one that looks wedged. So this one just looks like a door? Correct, sir. Can I give a quick investigation to this door? Um. Oh, you know what? I think I read you the wrong one. Let's try this again. The hall is strewn with mud and flotsam. Water accumulates in the center of the corridor and flows westward to where a stone block in the southern wall has shifted out of place. The corridors the corridor turns north and the flow of water flows uh, follows it. Then goes under a door made of bronze bound wood. The door has a handle and a keyhole. Okay. So this oh, dis one disregard one. what I read before you. This one looks wedged. Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Okay. No. I, I read you the totally the wrong one. So, huh. this one, you see the water rolling and trickling under the door. Okay. I come running back. Okay. Uh, Tim, see? what do we get on religion check? I just, like, run in, poke my head in the door, real smug. Religion check! For a 15. So... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you agree with Sister Aggie that these are definitely religious in nature. Uh, really you even, with a 15, you maybe even recognize that the triangle, uh, the triangle is maybe, it could be a representation of the god Apokatakel, uh, who is the god of the moon and lightning. Hey, that's Pokey Tickle, moon lightning. <laughs> that's well, my favorite uh, Pokemon. I, I, Sir Aggie, you have no way of confirming or denying what he's saying. <laughs> okay. I'm certain. Pokey tickle. Uh, Nicola uh, found more doors. <laughs> yeah, you I don't found know, guys. More doors. Just have to keep more doors. I'll be like, I'm glad I helped, and I'm gonna run back to where the secret door was. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Anything about the doors? Did you investigate them for traps or anything? I probably should have done that. I didn't. You're a rogue, door. right? I mean, I'm more of a mastermind, but yeah. Usually masterminds would think about that sort of thing, too. I got distracted. By what? I just kind of stare off. <laughs> okay. 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 And, and then he immediately becomes distracted. <laughs> Thanks, Fish Spleen. <laughs> Anytime. I'm looking uh, can... for traps as I go. Okay. Okay. You go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh, I too am looking for traps, but the hard okay, way. Okay, Tim, you give me a perception check. But the hard way? <laughs> the hard way. The armor way. The uh, armored way. I got it. So two. everyone has squeezed through the secret the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. 30, 20. Okay. No, you, you don't. You don't find any traps, but the closer hard. you get to Sir Tim, who's already sort of pushed his way ahead of you, uh, you start to hear the the a faint, um, maybe singing coming from the uh, from from the west. No, oh, soothing. If it's not the secret, pardon me, the song, east I'm from the east. Upset. I didn't. I didn't hear this when I was just up here a minute ago. I hear singing. No, from you the did up. not. So, from the east would be north on the map. Yes. North for us on the map. The top. The top. Um, Just to clarify, did did uh, Sister Eggy pocket the uh, poke tickle? Pokey tickle. Yeah, I actually was hoping they were all small enough that she could take all of them. No, the other ones are pretty big. This one is tiny, though. Okay, mm -hmm. and she would take just that one. Okay. Okay. Is this music like Mudram Sudram? Mudram Sudram? Or is it more like, you know... <laughs> A nice... It's melodious. Oh. Well, so like almost Disney princess. Oops. Elephants out there. The elephants we really in the are room. in Moana, aren't we? <laughs> My ears just kind of flap, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, you just flap an ear out there." Yeah, I got you. Kind of. Uh, it's nice. I feel like you should be but... called Baba or something. No, that's not my name. Oh 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 oh! This page has not a problem. My name. That's not my name. <laughs> Uh, so from the west, from the east, or as we like to call it, up, uh, you can hear uh, melodious sounds from beyond the door. Do I feel that they might be, I don't know, like siren-like? Mm, 
I don't know. I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, Sister Aggie's fairly uh, confident that she knows a lot of hymns and stuff like that. Yeah. Did she do a religion check to see if sure. it seems like that? Sure. Okay. Oh, that one. Uh, to you, it sounds more like... Um, Call me maybe? Raunchy Ska. Oh. He I spoke. mean... Uh, Sister Aggie has very had a Very dirty long life sounding life. saxophone. <laughs> I'll do a perception check if I can. 80 sex. 80 sex. Rusty French horn. You do 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 do. Isn't that a rusty trombone? <laughs> That's the other maneuver. Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 This is the scholar. Uh, Tim, what'd we get? Uh, uh, 12. Yeah, you. I mean, everybody can hear hear this. The the it's very faint, and it's coming from behind that door, obviously. Oh, this door. Ooh. Could the the, the ah. door that's up, this one way up here. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. If, if about you can't this see the door, if you can't see the up door, the one that you're the door that you're at, uh, no sounds are coming from behind. Is there a like a crack in this door under it inside anywhere that I can squeeze up a small mm, through? That's personal. Did you see uh, cracking? You don't, you don't have, no, there's no crack in the door. No room to go uh, underneath right now? Like, I couldn't fit a spider underneath it? Um, no. Okay. Could just... uh, Scarlet make a history check since everything in here is old and she feels like uh, if the singing ain't old, then. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 16. It's she's, not a modern wondering. tune. Like, it's nothing that you recognize as being like, oh, that's the jig that Jig McJiggerson okay. used to sing at the tavern on the corner of Jiggerson Drive. Pokey tickle. Ooh. Nothing like that. Yeah, it's very pokey tickle. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to listen at the door, see if I hear anything through this. Uh, one. This closed door? The yeah. The one to the northeast? The one in front of you. Um, the one, the one down here is quiet. Nobody hears anything behind it. Let's go. Can I like, listen to this door? Yes, you can. You can definitely hear, um, the singing, and it's soft and light, with maybe a giggle now and then. Ooh, Ooh that sounds fancy. lovely. Get back here. Back it up. Mm -mm. Back it up. What <laughs> giggles in a dungeon? <laughs> Now, call me crazy, or, or don't, because that's that's not real polite. But I'm thinking that we we are down here, and and anyone who was down here when this was made is is no longer within this realm, and that anything that is down here making noise other than ourselves may or may not be things that we don't really want to deal with, because um, the the clickety clackety smacky smack boys that we we saw earlier weren't real nice so that's the encounter I'm thing a... now <laughs> the clickety yeah. clack smacky smack yep. i'm all for not going towards the uh terrifying giggling and um and uh but that but that's just me i mean i too like hit points <laughs> go this way <laughs> i vote for terrifying giggling of i'm with the blaster does. gotta go with my buddy i'm sorry <laughs> did not did we not remove his voting rights did did we not veto we the did. goblin's ability to it was about yeah. a year ago we removed his ability to vote because he always voted for the worst possible outcome. Always. Yeah, I did not time. think that we reinstated Mr. that. No, we his... didn't. Sister Eggie no. at this point would be like, I lived through segregation and I'd rather not go back to that. It's not segregation, it's fish spleen aggression. <laughs> Those are the part of the realms we, I'd We like absolutely understand your sentiment there and and this was not meant to be that at all this was just meant to be the, our desires to continue to live through things so yes let's go through this door in front of us Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh let's open it i so. think in our party uh the, our our silent more silent uh, companion like uh venkata like gets to like if she ever votes we like <laughs> We're like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> what? Just, she doesn't talk much, but when she does. That's clearly the most sound off, reason. And it says, I care nothing for friendship. And I was like, I'm going to go open the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, so, 
So this passageway, uh, the stairs lead down, uh, the water trickles down, and there's condensation all over this room. This is what I read to Ryan before. Uh, condensation all over the room, splashing and echoes sort of rever- like bounce around the room. Almost um, like there's something acoustic happening here. And In the this, water. this yeah. door, this door is the one that's all swollen and twisted. Like um, water damage? Yes. Oh. Uh, the water down in this room, like when you get to the bottom of the stairs, is quite deep. Like it's up to your, up to your knee. Is the door underwater? Like they're just like halfway, sort of. Sorry. Is the door like underwater, or is it just? Yes, like it, is. Yep. yes the it is. Yes, it is. Totally totally underwater. Not the door you came through, because there's stairs coming down. No, the door over, over here is all warped and swollen, and um, yeah. Oh, as if something's pushing against it, like a well. Just all the mo- all the moisture in here has gotten to it. It's oh, not okay. a, yeah. Oh, it's not like busting at the okay seams. No. Uh, okay. Because you said my boots of flying will never be useful, I'll use them. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna like float over top of the water here. Yeah, love the goblin. And I'm just Does like, do they, have little, do they have little wings on them that like beat? They look like little goblin ears. Are you a drone? Yeah. Literally a drone right He's now. He's Hermes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna float over top here. And okay. Gonna, is okay. Water like dark and murky, or is it clear? What yeah. It's, no, it's dark and murky. Uh, I'm doing this with the Lightbringer to see if I see shadows and stuff. Perception. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna pull out a couple ball bearings and I'm gonna cast a light on them and then I'm gonna down and see if I can. Okay. Eight, eight, they splish percent. and splash. The light, the light uh, penetrates most of the water. You think you can almost see the bottom? Like I said, it's about knee high. There's, there's certainly nothing moving in it or anything like that. And there's still this toxic, gassy stuff coming off in it, all these places. Oh, remind him, bro, dude, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to say, "Oh no, look, the the water room has uh, gotten rid of that." No, there's still lots, uh, lots of that amber colored gas everywhere. I don't see anything particularly interesting on the floor down there. Uh, no. No. And okay. and as as you finish examining the door, I think we're going to take our break. Uh, and, uh, you know, let's all take a D6 for ah. a <laughs> reminder. <laughs> let's take a D6 of poison damage. Uh, we will do the draw for the dice when we come back after the break. And yeah. if you haven't entered already, uh, let us know in chat. You can... Just type in exclamation point ticket or enter or hey you guys I want in that draw. That'll work too. Yep. Everybody take it. You guys. Appropriate amount of damage and we will be right back. We're just gonna take a quick break, grab something to drink, use the bathroom, things like that. Um. We're the back. Best Fifty bucks I ever spent on Fiverr. And there's a doggy. Look at there's the a dog. Doggy. Look at that. He's what so the cute. Names there, Tim. Yep. Hashtag giveaway. You get one puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. He's going. Uh. So listen, we're gonna do our dice giveaway. If you haven't entered yet, please by all means just uh do this the exclamation point ticket. The automation is not working, but we have been diligent about taking everybody's names, and then we're going to just make a random roll here. Ooh. The box! What's in the box? What's in the box? There are five sets of dice in the box. You do not get to see what they are. They just come to you, and you you take them as they are. Are these the ones with the maple leaves on them? Uh, We don't actually make those here in Canada. (laughs) <laughs> Dracon maple syrup filled dice. Look at you with the spinny wheel. I told you I had this covered. Oh what? Ladies oh, and gentlemen, yeah. this is why this is why Affy's here, because I could not have done that. I could not have done that. Has better than who entered the draw? Better than who 42? I didn't see, you know. I can enter them with approval if you would like. 
Well, I don't want to just enter someone in case they're like, no, I don't really want to give away my mailing address. I don't want That's to make fair. any That's fair. I need all of your information. Social insurance. Because we will we will need a mailing address card, from whoever wins. Credit card. Card. My bio on Instagram, like, eh. If they... Yeah. If they won and didn't want to give you their mailing address, I would absolutely take the mystery box and relieve them of that stress. On their behalf? <laughs> I'll just send it to myself like I did a package last week. Thank you. <laughs> the guy's oh, like, you mailed a package to like, yourself last week? I mailed a package to myself, and it took like a week and a half. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I was like, oh, oh, that's not right. Okay, well, uh, let's... Uh, if no one else is going to enter... Did we get Cardman? I just noticed Cardman. Oh yeah, we did. We did. You're so on this appy. I don't. I don't know why I ever. You doubt me that... so much all the time. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, what if I don't like my color on the wheel? Can you do something about that? <laughs> Purple is notoriously unlucky. Okay, let's spin Excuse that wheel. Me. Let's see, spin that wheel and see who wins our 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 mystery box of mystery dice, shrouded in mystery and cupped in enigma. Ooh! Oh, Queen Mother won. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. They're not here. She is. A, she is a dice goblin. She is a dice I guy. am a dice girl, but now I feel bad. But she's but in Canada. The shipping's so much more expensive. Pick an American. <laughs> yeah. Pick an American. Well, there you go. Congratulations, Queen Mother. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm very excited. <laughs> and I also uh, feel bad that you did that live. <laughs> uh, that's okay. It's okay, Afi. Okay. I'll slip you the 20 later. That's what we do here. That's what we do here. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's we'll see what's inside. Okay, so listen, we're going to continue our trek through the hidden shrine of Tomoe Chan as it's been so gripping as we've fought crabs and crayfish already. And, and yeah. So just just so you're aware, we're about 12 keyed encounters God, in. And, uh, you know, there's like 53. So pick up the pace, people. Pick up the pace. That's a good one. You can't look at it. I can do whatever I want. Am okay. I pushing open the door? I'm an adult. Are sure. you going to push that open? It's either that or we go to the giggling, creepy, weird singing room. and Hard pass. Um, Hard pass. Yeah. Maybe, maybe chat should just vote. Hey, Dirty Dwarf. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> but chat, we could let chat, chat just, just vote. Can we turn this go. into a Twitch plays? Twitch plays. You know, when, I, which was like voting on video games yeah. and what to do next. Oh, that would be a cool. We should do that one night. Run a dungeon where the players don't actually get to choose. Uh, I still think I would rather have Twitch vote than the Goblin. <coughs> I oh, agree. Uh, I think Tim said though he was slamming his shoulder into this door, didn't he? Say yep. That? yep. Yep. So give me uh, give me a strength check there, Sir Tim, because it is. I did mention it was wedged, right? You can use See? athletics, actually. Athletics is fine. Ooh, okay. Uh, let me get out of... I'm going to flutter out of here on my little goblin. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 14. I'm going to use my... Insp if that didn't work, I'll use my inspiration. Uh, 14 did not work, so go ahead and use your inspiration. Use my inspiration. Bing, bing, it's going to be 21. 21. 21 to open the door. Oh, I lost awesome. it. Awesome. So as you bust the door open, the weight of the water crashes out the doorway and give me a strength saving throw or be washed away. Huzzah, I say. <laughs> Huzzah. 14. At this point, you're probably pretty dirty. You 14? Yeah. Mind. yeah. Yeah, no. So you guys see the water washed him out. He hits the wall out here. <laughs> um, and, uh, and takes D4 damage. I'll let you roll that. Roll a D4. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and then it washes them down the hallway and you lose sight of them, everybody. Ooh, uh, one damage. Oh, oh, oh. That's the last half of the huzzah is just a gurgling sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Scarlet's gonna gonna follow and be like, oh, uh, well, thank you so much for uh, for draining that room. I, I really didn't want to get my new boots wet. Where in the world, Fishbleen, did you get those ones? I have to say, were they on sale? I stole them off corpse. I love a good oh, sale. Yeah. Corpse looting is a very good sale. Discount. <laughs> uh, that... Sir Tim, you and your glowing mace come to rest in a corner against another door and the water uh is draining you can tell that it's draining under the door but uh not very not not all that fast but this hallway has so much more space for the water it's no longer up to your shin it's maybe you know your ankle there's just a thin bit of water that's washed you down the hallway here well <laughs> keep on keeping on <laughs> That's the attitude there, uh, so Tim. You're uh, you're a little bit cleaner now. Thank you. More water, everybody. So, yeah, I... the the door to this room is made of bronze, and it's tinted blue with oxidation. And well, then in, inside the doorway, you see that the room is entirely flooded. And on the other side, well, I don't think you can even see the other side. No. However, there is something glowing in the water off to the upside of the room, or as we like to call it, the east. Uh, and two corroded bronze braziers stand in the pool. <clears throat> Sorry, where was the, the sparkly the... again? The sparkly is up along the top. Okay. Okay. Roll 20 keeps like crashing on beneath, me, so it's cool. It looks like, no, that's okay. It looks like it's beneath the water, but it, there's sort of a shimmer of light somewhere beneath the murky water's surface. Two corroded bronze braziers stand in the pool toward the middle of the room. Two broken urns, each apparently once about four feet tall, poke up out of the water. And in the darkness on the eastern wall appears to be an enormous growth of an overall greenish hue. And it gives sort of a silver, it, it has a similar silver, silvery gleam to the, um, those trails you saw in the, in the tunnel before you went through the secret door. Mm. Something's falling over here. So, Tim, when you step off into the water there, in your heavy plate mail, I might add, you sink 10 feet in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, dear. 12 feet. 12 feet, I might add. Oh. You sink to the very bottom with a thunk. And as as you do that, um, does is our barbarian going in the water, too? No, if it was that deep, she would... Uh... She would not have uh, jumped okay. in, as it were. Let's back and, uh, up then. I feel like I would have known. Maybe, yeah, screw it. I'm in. <laughs> you, you, you know what? Give me a perception check. Yeah, this ought to be great. Before we just toss you into the deep end, the proverbial nope. deep end. Nope, looks pretty shallow. <laughs> so you're like, hmm, I wonder what that glow is over there. And you step in, and yeah. Matt and that, that, so you guys lose sight of Sir Tim. But the glowing, it stays to the outer edge, but the glowing is beginning to move down and around. Oh, um, oh. I'm sure, pretty sure Sir Tim is underwater like a glow stick. Uh, yeah. Does your I... scepters... Let's roll initiative. Fuck. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my god. I'm using my well... inspiration. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tim got a 12 too. I'm using one of my inspirations. Okay. Oh. Even better. Even better, Queen. We'll keep the higher one, though. So what was it, a 12? Yes. She was a little taken aback by Sir Tim's cannonball. Yes. Yes, absolutely. What did I just say about not getting my boots wet? <laughs> um, has everyone we've got uh, Sister Aggie one two three we're missing someone who's not on those dues 12 Tim. For, uh, yep 
Tim gets a 12. Rah, rah. Tim, 12. Like it. Well, I like that's it. my mama. And uh, now we will... Some order. I think we died, Chippy. Oh, it gets to go first. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, so, Tim... <laughs> with you you know lighting lighting up underwater um you see an enormous slug like creature slug yeah approaching you and it glows <laughs> and then it shoots out a pseudopod like tongue at you <laughs> an 11 does not hit so it does it again the slug is enraged. Oh, the slug is enraged. So this, so, uh, so this first attack, a uh, twenty-four hits, right? Yes. What? Yes. Uh, Nineteen bludgeoning damage. You guys can see the light. The light of Tim then gets pulled very quickly under the water. It was already Ooh. underwater. So where is he going? Yeah, but like the light is right, right beneath you in front of the steps. And whatever it is, hits him with a this sticky tongue, and brrr, away it goes. So that oh. was um, that was the one attack. I'm going to give it the second attack now. You can thank my wife for this. Thanks, Jasmine. No, no, there was already an enraged on the creature before that. Yeah. Yeah. Does Jasmine enrage it too? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll roll advantage on this one too because I only got a, a nine, so that's no good. Uh, second attack, seventeen. No, that doesn't hit him. Yikes. But uh, Tim is pulled underwater that way. Uh, Fish Spleen, what do you do? Oh, I got a plan. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to dive into... Is this like murky, hard to see kind of water? That's correct. But there's a fair amount of light under there because the creature glows. And on top of that, Sir Tim, uh, his mace is glowing. Okay. I'm going to cannonball in. Because fish spleen cannonballs, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to try to get to Sir Tim. And my action this turn, well, I'm going to try and pull his boots off him. <laughs> I don't That's know where this is going. Is this is goblin with a fish fe with a foot fetish or something? Like what's, mm -hmm. what's okay, okay. He he Can didn't say it was a good plan. He just said he had a plan. Off? Um, Tim, are so. This massive slug-like creature has a a big fleshy tongue around you. Um, do you do you fight fish spleen pulling at your boot? Yeah, yeah. So why yeah. don't you both give me an athletics check? Uh, winner <laughs> keeps the boot. What the fuck is going on here? Seventeen. Seventeen. Tim. You gotta have better athletics than that. You're strong. Ooh, let's see. But I'm wiry. 16. He has oh, the boot. Oh no. Somehow fish plane gets your boot. All right. Can I now take my boot and put it on him? Oh. Or would that be another another action? No, sure, I'll allow it. So I'm gonna slap my boots of flight onto ten. Does it require <laughs> attunement? Nope. Okay, so you have one boot of flying on. That's more like a boot of floating. Okay. It's Tim's turn. Grab other boot? Yes. Oh, now you like the idea. Okay. <laughs> and now you, so now you kick off the other boot and <laughs> take Fish Spleen's other boot. You have two boots of flying now. I'm out. And you're, go and you're going I'm skyward? Gra Am I grappled? No, it's not grappled. You're not grappled. Uh, yeah, I got to go heal. I'm, I got a boogie. I give him okay, a so thumbs up. And, and then I instantly realize I'm now sitting in front of the slug, and Tim's going. Can I hold him? Can I? Can I bring? Can I bring him with me? He's a goblin. Sure. All right, we're out. Do the boots say anything about weight limits, Ryan? Let me look. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna say you're light enough. You so fish bleen and rule sir, of cool. Uh, I mean, rule of cool. Yeah, but I am gonna give a. Um, I'm gonna give a free um, attack of opportunity, but it'll Wait. take it. It'll take it on the bootless goblin. Oof. I rolled a natural 20. 
That seems so, fair. So you take uh, 17 bludgeoning damage. Uh, I will uncanny dog. So you can half that to eight, right? There you go. Yeah. Scarlet, your friends come literally flying out of the water. I'm going to give you your boost back next turn. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> no problem. She was uh, she was just thinking about uh, jumping in there after them, uh, but then Bigger, they... Me. Bigger. <laughs> mm. This is um, one hundred Sorry. <laughs> no, I... I um, I don't know what to do. Um, I could, um, I was thinking about raging and charging in there and, and saving these two, but, um, I, I don't, I don't know. We, we, we want to back out. Is that, is that, what seems more terrifying, the snail or this, uh, the giggly, laughy thingy? I mean, I say we kill it. I just, just am not very Just buoyant. for the record, uh, Sir Tim's boots are still in the water. Oh, poop. So someone's barefoot. I'm I'm asking the the group. Do do we wish to uh, do uh, something here? I think the slug is in. less scary than the giggly thing. All right then. You have to um, them. I only came back because I'm like almost dead. Like I had to yeah. take a break. Well, time. Out. All right then. I I she's uh she's gonna say. Well, maybe we wait uh, for it to come up to us. See if it comes closer. Rather than going into its territory and okay, then I will hold and. Do you want to ready in action that if it comes up, you attack? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. get ready to uh, smack. Okay, Venkata, the mute. Um, I'm gonna move up and um, cast uh, cure wounds on Sir Tim. Nicely done. I like, and that's I like all? the little wing on him. Is that all, group mom? You did pick, like... I didn't did do it pick, on purpose! You did you pick the that. moon, right? The, the, yes! Like, change into animals and fight other animals. Yes! <clears throat> sister Aggie? Go full slug. I'm not sure which Sister Aggie we're talking to, but what does Sister Aggie do? Um, sister Aggie would cast unseen servant okay um and she wants to command it to light all the braziers oh cool okay so yeah it's it's invisible i assume because the water's 10 feet down that i could probably swim up it can do all the actions a human can yeah it can go 60 feet before it disappears so okay yeah, I'm I'm down with all of that. So it's gonna you're gonna have it light the braziers. Yeah. Because why not? All right. Yeah, it could and it could get. Do you have a fl far. do you give it like a flint and steel? Um, or flint tinder box it, or something. It's the way the spell reads. It looks like it could just maybe it, maybe it would have to. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Aggie would ask anybody if they have any sort of flint and steel. Yes, of course. Tinderbox. Yep. Mine's I a little wet. You. And she would give it out to the to the uh, unseen servant. I'm assuming because it's flint and steel, even if it gets wet, it should still work, okay. hey? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Okay. All right. So it goes out there to the to the braziers and tries to light them. That's uh, that's it for my turn, I think. Okay. Nicole, all the la la la. The la la la. I'm gonna save the lighting till next round. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold a couple darts for if this thing comes close enough to. Okay. Cool. Bro. Well, I mean, I can sort of see it, but I'd have to. Yeah, fuck it. I just like, excuse me, excuse me, Throat. excuse me. You <laughs> squeeze your fat elephant ass up there. Yep. Release. I'm aware of my badonkadonk. 21 to release. hit. Release the damage. 21 is totally a, a hit. And a 13 to hit. That is also a hit. 
I'll back up. And total damage is... 11. Minus 11. Okay, it's its turn. So it swims uh, over. You see it, it sort of bumps up. And you can see that it's not so deep here in the middle of the room. And then it, as it drops into the moat in front of you, it, say, it, it says that... Uh, <clears throat> you have no idea who you're dealing with. I am Lord of the Snails. <laughs> and then it vomits all over all of you. <laughs> uh, and for 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 that said vomit, I would need everyone uh, to give me a deck saving throw. Gross. Ooh, not bad. And I would be able to use my yes. danger sense. Yes. Wait. Dirty twenty for me. Yeah, the DC is thirteen. Eighteen. Twenty-three. Ooch. So, I will use my inspiration. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because the eight is sort of eh. There we go. An eight again. <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> could you that's not? All, <laughs> that's all she wrote. So, listen, uh, our barbarian takes 24 acid damage. Oof. Everyone else, I think, made their save. Yeah. Everyone else takes 12 acid damage. I'm out. Uh, Venkata, that would be halved again. Yeah. For you. So it would be six acid damage. Tim, you shouldn't be out. You got 16 healing back from me. It did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Venkata healed you for 16. Woo. Thank you, buddy. And then you, lo and then you lose 12. 12. Okay. Uh, and then this thing slides into the water, but uh, Queen, you can hit it if you'd like, because you had a ready to action. Uh, yeah, and uh, can I hit it twice? Because I uh, have two. Uh, no, attacks. technically only once with a held action. <sighs> I hate to uh, say. All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it with my new longsword. Um, the new one, yes. A... This does not yeah. count as a plant, though. But swing away anyway. Uh, 14. A 14, that hits for 9 slashing damage. Nicely done. I wish I had rage last time, but... Uh, oh, she she is raging right now. Uh, uh, so that was your ready to action. Fishbling, it's your turn, my man. <clears throat> uh, where are my boots currently? Um, I think they're still on Sir Tim. Yep, here... Well... I'm just holding them up so you can slip them back off. Like, you can take oh, them. Like, no, nah, I'd like to, I'll get them. I'll get them in a minute. I'd like to do a, a sweet, uh, like, somersault. <laughs> I want to go over top of this thing and land in the water behind it. You're vaulting over the squid? Or sliding, sliding through. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Why don't you give me an acrobatics check to get there? Sister Aggie's legs. Maybe I slide through and go that way uh acrobatics I should be <laughs> yeah, absolutely make that acrobatics check i mean you should be good at this oh you are you kill it okay you're so over here there's about uh there's about a foot foot and a half of water okay so that was five times so what's that about 20 feet of movement for that yeah okay um i am going to stab it in the back sure i don't know <laughs> Thanks for following, Kel. Uh, sorry, it's Booming Blade again. Booming Blade. Yep, that is a hit, sir. Uh, for a total of 24 points of damage. That sounds about right. How are you getting that much damage? Oh, dice. Because I'm a rouge. Sneak attack. I know, but... It's ridiculous. First you're, first you're mad about the boots, now you're mad about the sneak attack. Look, I'm allowed to be mad. It... It's my mad about DM, the locks, my Don, mad about the monk, when, mad about the when, when you say Ryan, I can just... that oh. item is not going to be useful. I say, fuck you, Sir Tim. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm going to disengage now and go over and hide over here. Yeah, I'm I not going to hide. What you do anymore. Okay, if you hide there, you sink. So give me an athletics check where you sink to the bottom. That's fine. I'll sink to the bottom. Okay, fine. Fucking <laughs> 
Uh, Sir Tim. My only friend left in channel. Apparently. Get real salty in here. This oh. guy. What would you like to do, Sir Tim? Water, Jeremy. I'm sure the Sorry? basic bitch paladin's gonna do something to piss you off. It's uh, fresh. It's fresh. Well, it's not fresh. I've been here a long time. Like, I, was gonna, it, I was just gonna say it seems a little hey, salty. It is. Oh, God, I want to die. Oh. <laughs> All right, Tim. That is, that's the opposite of what a GM's supposed to want. They're not supposed to want to die, but to to do the killing. I know. I know. I'll save the cure wounds to hopefully we survive this thing, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna smack this creature. Okay. Go in with Lightbringer on the first swing. Uh, and, and that's a 16 hit. That's a hit. You bring down the mace upon the slug like creature. Six bludgeoning. With a wallop. <laughs> and then one more hit. Absolutely. 14 hit. Wah, wah. That is a hit. That's a hit as well. Ooh. All right. Oh, uh, sorry. You also, because of my, you were five feet from me. You get. Uh, oh, you have advantage. Uh, They're both hit. Pack, pack of the wolf and all that. Yeah, my apologies. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I, oh no, I'm not raging. Sorry. Oh. It has to be raging for you to get that. Oh. I still mm. hit though. I yeah. How much? How much damage on the second hit though? All right. Uh, layeth right. down the smacketh. All right, s s nine nine bludgeoning. Yep. And then I'm gonna add a smite because this thing looks pretty juicy. Smite it, smite it, and nine radiant. Nice. Nine and nine. Nine or nine or eighteeners. Now it's Scarlet's turn. All right. Would you like Scarlet to will rage. <laughs> And as she does so, her she grits her teeth, and they get uh, her canine seem maybe a little bit sharper. And she says, Ooh. "I just bought this cloak of protection." And she is going to wail on this thing twice and say, "I want some escargot, Lord of the Snails." That is a hit. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, that's the first one, and then her second one, one. You and Sister Aggie are right in his face, I just want you to know that. Uh, 12 mm. does not hit. 12 does not hit, and I am <gasps> out of inspiration, but, uh, uh, she does feel really satisfied with that first well, hit. Someone buy Queen Inspiration in chat. <laughs> or, or are we all bitter that she won the dice? Let's not bet. Oh. Oh! Uh, Venkata? Okay, so I am you, raging now, you and you do get... Yes. So I should have taken another two damage here. There we go. Oh, yes, my apologies. That no, I no, that's okay. I had that click on. Then but now my on. allies get advantage. You do. Sweet! Let me put a little angry face on you or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I will change my token. So I don't get, like... Oh yeah, change your token because we made an angry. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that angry token. Snarly face. <laughs> so went from smiley to resting bitch face, and now it's on. I really want to buy myself inspiration, but you told me I was not allowed to do that. No, this is true. Jasmine has enraged the enemy. Venkata. Okay, who's the worst odds? Like with her points no, right now. No, I'm going to tell you something. This is your problem. You're not the group's mom. I I support that. Mom. Uh, they can play however they want to play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fine. I use my action to summon two spectral octopuses, and then as a bonus action, I turn into an octopus. So much cool. Oh. That's pretty fucking oh, cool. Sweet tentacle. Like Ursula? Sweet. Are you a How large you octopi? Okay. I am a giant octopus. Oh, fuck oh. yes. <laughs> Can we call you Octopussy? Sure, if that makes I you feel know, better about your life choices. Yes. I don't want to ride an octopus. Uh, oh, I'm so already doing that. I'm next in line. And so, change into a massive octopus. I and then you summon two, two octopi. Two giant is octopi. Octopi the right word or two, octopussy? Octopuses or octopi is the correct phrase. Yeah. Octopuses? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pusses. 
So I summon okay. two giant ones and then turn into one myself. Okay, so they and, can attack uh, on the turn will... they're summoned, right? Yes. And they get advantage and... because queen. And so does uh, my giant octopus ally. I don't think she can attack. I don't think Ar Artemis can actually attack this round. She casts the spell. and Yeah, I it. can't, but they can. They can. They can. Yeah. Do you need octopus stats or do you have that? Nope, I've got it here. Your boss. Keep prepared. The only, the only thing I'm not entirely sure how to do is how to add a modifier onto a, on D or on um, D D Beyond. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh. Just roll and tell me what the modifier is. Okay. So, uh, thirteen for the first one. That hits. Okay, so they do. Another five dollars was donated to me from Sophia, and, and we choose to party? buff the party. What will we do for five dollars? I feel like Jasmine and Sophia are really not How about? How about... So <laughs> All right, go ahead. 11, 11 damage on the first attack. Let's do let's do that. Everyone gets a, a like a bardic inspiration of a d a d six at some point. Mm -hmm. It's not a full blown inspiration. Because I feel like we gave to, wasn't it, didn't we give everybody inspiration for twenty five dollars? I feel oh, yeah. like we anybody are, giving yeah. you their money is a good thing. So maybe don't be cheap about it. Holy fuck! Okay, fine. Everybody gets another <laughs> inspiration. Yay! Ah. Rose rejoicing. Oh god, I love you, Affy. <laughs> I'm a dick at the table. I'm so sorry. So Ow. eleven eleven damage for the first attack, and then the second attack is the seventeen plus stuff. And that's a hit too then. Yep. So they take for that Tim's one. Like, what have I got myself into right Another now? <laughs> eleven damage. Love it. This did you great. see did, did you see Affy actually talking to another voice like Sister Aggie? Crickets. Crickets. Holy shit. Hey, what? Crickets. Crickets. Sister so Aggie, it's your turn. <laughs> what? I'm not okay. putting the octopus yeah. on the map, but there are two big octopus also on top of the Lord of the Snails. Lord of the uh, Dance! Well, I'm really upset that this thing uh, has so much enrage, so I'm going to use Vicious Mockery again uh, because I want to give it disadvantage. So, DC 14 Wisdom Save. I don't, if I don't make this, I think he's going to die, actually. That would be fantastic. Wisdom That's save? why I didn't want to yeah. use my wild shape. How's a seven grab you? Not good. It's going to so, take... Um, let's it has see. three. It has three, Ron. Oh, okay, so... Uh, well, it takes four, so... But what was the insult? What I mean, what could you possibly have laid on the Lord of the Snails? You're a real douche. <laughs> <laughs> In you know, that accent. Slug we're going to gonna say that Sister Aggie was just like, Sir Tim, hurl the insult. <laughs> Ramses is a real douche. <laughs> she like channels it for him. <laughs> yes. Yes. And uh, the Lord of the Snails has been defeated. And there are there are a lot of very big octopus in the water. Well, uh, let's move quick so that they can continue to remain there. I'm gonna go get my boots. Wait, I'm gonna hand him the boots back, and I'm gonna hand him Lightbringer and say, "Hey, can you go get my boots back?" And I'm gonna go cure wounds while he's on a treasure hunt. Okay. See you in a minute. So I'm now looking for metal boots at the bottom of this. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm I gonna just, need those. I just hop on Vinkara. Uh, Give her a pet. And there's a fire burning in the center of the room now. I like reach up a tentacle story. and fist bump you. Um, has has lit. It's not very big. Whatever's in the brazier is wet and um, it pops and fizzles and yes. Uh, I'm gonna cast your wounds. Mulk. Totally cast that. I'm gonna cast this. Um, Scarlet is, um, she's torn between, like, raging and running around, making sure there's nothing else in this room for her to smack, and, like, turning to, to Sir Tim and being like, 
I, I would, I may or may not take that uh, butt slap right now as uh, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit, <laughs> a little under the weather. Cures wounds, waits for next six seconds, and you can have five, uh, five lay on hands. Five HP? Five HP. <clears throat> uh, that, uh, well, thanks. That, uh, <laughs> that did something. I don't have much left. The rest will raise you if we die. <laughs> I didn't even see what that number was. All right, I'll just roll it. Okay, and just to be clear, I haven't enraged the enemy in my back pocket because uh, Jasmine did that, and then you killed the Lord of the Snails. I come out of the water with the boots. I yeah. go, Why do the French like like to eat snails so much? Don't do it. Don't. Do they it. can't stand fast food. And I go back. Like, right, right. <laughs> Oh. This is why he's not allowed to vote. <laughs> uh, where would we like to go now? There there are a couple other things on the other side of the room that you can now make, make out. Um, hold on. So I'm we... also horribly mangled as well. Are you mangled? Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> are we in a safe space? I, mean, I can I can we cast like the wounds on somebody space, if you need it. I'm not really sure what that means. Is it still foggy? Yes, oh, there's I... poisonous gas everywhere. Yeah. Cool. So we we still can't take a short rest. So that's correct. That's correct. We gotta that's, go. That's a, that's absolutely. <clears throat> right. What if you so you... burn that plant? Don't that we have glowing... a plant smashing sword? I do. Plant. Yes. She does. You tell her to go smash it. She does. She just. Okay, yeah, that's not that's not a plant. Token. Sorry, that's the map showing sort of where the glowing was before. Oh, is it no longer glowing? No. If that I was where it, that thing slept, she goes big, and she wheels at the it. snails. It, yeah, like he he has a snail trail there oh, that's glowing. Snail. Maybe. I think Artemis is stuck on the pillar and can't. Yeah, move. I can't, I can't I, move. The circle too. Look, it's not my fault. You chose to be a giant octopus. It is kind of you bullied her into it. <laughs> Fish spleen, you've been given a second win by your wife. Twenty uh 2d10 hit points. Nice. So Less while I have them, me and the other two octopus are gonna swim around and make sure there's nothing else in here. And I'm with you because I'm yep. like on your surface. Yeah. Oh. The the water the mantle. The water is clear. The water well it's, it's murky, but there's nothing in it. Okay. Are you gonna like climb out of the water and like make a funny octopus crawl? Like, oh. yeah. I'm here for it. I'm I'm just hanging out next to sister a sister Aggie. Okay. So, Once I realize that this are is you the seeing anybody? Just <laughs> <laughs> like this shortcut sucked. Sorry, my roll 20 crashed. I was still just Mine did too. <laughs> so, uh, Scarlet. Yes. I can tell you what those are. Just a second. So the, these are ledges that are sort of overlooking, you know, the water. Um, and. Oh, boy. Uh, can I just run around? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like the long way around. So uh you you see two wells, sort of like pools of water, but the one in the north it like moves and undulates um a little disturbingly. I gotta open the door. Shit. These were maybe once fountains, but they're clogged by the looks of it with algae. There's also some, the the faint sound of frogs coming from them now and then. Les oignons, fruit the wee, les oignons. Like those kind? Sure. No! <laughs> I have another snail joke if you want. Oh, God. <laughs> 
No, no, but the no one, snail the jokes. One, the one on the upside, the algae and all that writhes and moves. Uh, what know. do you call a snail in a shipping container? Oh, God, what? Snail mail. That's cargo. Uh. Cargo. No. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's getting late. Um, And I apologize for these people. Tim, are you going to go look in there? Because that's what brave paladins do, right? <laughs> dip, dip, dip. Oh. dip Sorry, roll 20 just crashed on me, but uh, Scarlet sees algae. She's still pissed, meta flavor wise, and she's just going to stab it. Okay. <laughs> so she stabs the algae. It's all, it's all good. Nothing happens. It's However, green. Tim, a swarm of rats bursts out of the algae there. <laughs> immediately running all over your body delicious biting and nipping uh, someone hit me with fireball they have advantage because uh thanks to jasmine so let me let me uh let me have them get an attack here on you well that's my mama so Tim, get to break. Sixteen, not a hit, but they're all over you. They're all over you. Ew! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I really, uh, I really want Sir Tim to be saying that. I'm definitely can I, saying. Can I do? That. Can I do something? Uh, sure. Yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, because I feel like I'm not going to be able to cast a spell, and I just want to. I'm going to cast grease on Tim. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I would okay. like to grease his armor. The mites, they're Shit. multiplying. Like that kind of grease? Yeah. Like, it just starts singing. John Travolta. The, the rats all slide off, but like, Tim, could you give us a... Could you give us a, a deck save as you're... Oh, lubricated? yeah. But you're losing control. Right. Well, 17. Ha, ha, ha. I, I cast a musical interlude. Uh, this braggy pulls out her vial. <laughs> What the hell is happening here? <laughs> Cast grease on me. <laughs> oh, well then, the, and the rats dance go back into the lightning, into the well. <laughs> Huzzah! So you get the experience, no matter which way you deal with. Them. Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. I agree. I agree. Do I feel level six? Uh, no, no, you don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do feel like you've gone in a very a very large circle. Yeah. Yarp. Uh, I just start running with Lightbringer. To, uh, for the record, Tim is very slippery for 10 minutes. Sweet. <laughs> Greased up powder. Okay, so, so Tim will not be grappled for a little while. Back the way we came up to the creepy singing corridor, I guess. Yep. Or Ooh. we can return to the lime uh, covered corridor. I don't know. That, that it, feels less terrifying to me personally just saying i don't think that's wise okay oh crash i'm literally scuttling around as an octopus Dude, roll 20 crash on you it just crashed on me yeah. it's probably because i was running so fast i probably killed it sorry i don't i don't know what's happening here um i apologize roll 20 has never been there it goes before. yeah We've had bad nights on Roll20, but nothing to this It's extent. usually been like lag or glitches, though, not crash, like full well, crash. While it was crashed, I opened up the door and, and it was the end. I've never not had Roll20 crash like this. No, I haven't either. It'd be the um, size of the map, maybe? Yeah. I was wondering. Size of the map and the lighting effects were all screwy. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Even then, I'd expect them to just be glitchy, like. So you go, yeah. you go up to the door, and you can hear faint singing, faint. You know. La, 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 la. I'm gonna. Oh, no way! I'm gonna drink a potion of healing right. that I brought. Um, I do have the silent okay. spell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think this is a this is a job for Sister Aggie. <laughs> Get up here, <laughs> handsome lady. Yeah. Who are you gonna call, Sister Aggie? Okay, it's within range, 120 feet. Um, well, 
I think I'm going to try to open the door. Wait, see if is I can... everyone here? And is no, poor Ventana still a massive... Uh, Yes, octopus, because I can be yes. an octopus for two years. I can be an octopus for two hours, so I'm staying an octopus she's for that doing long. The, she's just rolling down the hallway and sticking to things, like the little Dude. window octopus thing. It just so what, that where you throw it and it climbs down. Yeah. She's just octopusing around. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. On a side note, can you yeah. drag me wherever we are though? Because I got oh my stuck. Gosh. <laughs> I can't. You, I'm green. Are your I are your women say me, that to me? Hold on. Are your <laughs> octopi <laughs> friends still up? The small doors. They only last for a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm I wasn't sure if it was like a 10-minute thing or whatever. Okay. No. I didn't think I'd be able to use grease So, else. Sister Aggie, you've moved up to the door. Do you have something to contribute? Well, that's yeah. Like, I, it's like I, maybe on task and on target. Oh, you're getting a silent spell ready, you said. I, I feel like that was yeah. past aggressive. Do you hear the walls here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like somebody's feeling really spicy tonight. I don't know. Yeah. Seems like a I'm bit of a dick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'm not wrong. That was that was just aggressive. If you've <laughs> never if you've never come and watched a stream here before, I would like to tell you that Affy never talks to me that way, but that would be wrong. <laughs> yeah, never. Never talk to you that way. Ever. No. No. Yeah, no. So is Sister Aggie opens the door. She's gonna take some like cotton strips from her robes and like shove it into her ears as earplugs. Okay. I'm okay. gonna try to use my mace in like <laughs> my box. I don't know what he's doing. She and then and then she'll <laughs> open the door and from okay. the doorway look in. So how, are you like opening the door like I gotcha or? Like, are you opening the door? <laughs> basic, basic, well, actually, you know what? Um, she would just, like, crack the door open and look in. Surprise! And then, like, one fingers, like, just floods through there as you're trying to be <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> give, me a stealth, give me a stealth check just to see how softly oh. you open the door. Love me tender. Love uh, me. A 16, but I could use an inspiration. Because I have three. Well, I mean, use... it's up to you. Uh, do I have to take it if it's worse? Uh, no, because it's like an advantage rule. Okay. So uh, well, this is better. A 22. Okay. So, you do you do a great job, by the way, Sister Aggie. Wonderful. Um, I, I want you to make, to understand that you're, you're, you're doing, you're fighting the good fight. But... Uh, so listen, inside, sitting on a bench, in front of a crystalline pool is a woman, young, slim, with long golden hair and pale white skin. You hear she from behind you, what's up? She radiates <laughs> a soft silvery light, even through her shawl, white as the froth of waves. She is singing a strange melody in an unrecognizable language. After finishing her song, she enters the water in a long arching dive. Would you, like to, uh, you had silence ready. Would you like to cast it on her? Or do I want to use it to fault, like you know, to track her? Wait, wait, wait. I oh, but I have comprehend languages. I know, but you don't have that ready. You have yeah. some ready. So, so before her supple form dives beneath the surface, would you like to hit her with silence? I would. Yes. Okay. Uh, Does she I'm have to make a saving the... for that? What's that? Sorry. I think Does she it have just to make a saving throw? Zip it, uh, you moistened bink! You hear from <laughs> you uh, watery it taunt. <laughs> yeah, I Scarlet. Oh, you know what? It's it doesn't matter anyway. So it's a it's a 20 foot radius. If she moves, it's done. I push okay. it. Well, if she moves out of that area, but silence would remain in that area. Yeah, so she Dip. Okay, true. Yeah. She dips and you put a uh a circle silence. of silence yeah. and you said it's 20 feet, right? Yeah. Nice. Like that? Yes. Sister I'm good at math. Is it 20 foot radius or 20 foot diameter? Radius. Oh shit, dude. No, it's bigger. Radius. Yep. Yes. Scarlet is all for this because she's like, that's right. You really shouldn't trust anyone prettier than me. 
But you're I so pretty. Is that is that twenty foot radius? No, yeah. So we're gonna put it like up against the back wall. Nice, like that. Yeah. All right. So boom, your silence hits, and you can see that water covers half this cavern, and it trickles in from the you know from the south. There is a door in the north. In the sorry, it's not the north. I cast the meta game on the door. East. We don't need to go that way. <laughs> I love meta, I love meta game. I'm a big See, fan. Seeing that the room is full of water, I would like to jump on the octopus. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> you intend to ride the octopus. I've been yeah. riding the octopus this whole time. Is there room for one is that more? A drug reference. So yes. this this right. this room is lit by soft light that reveals a section of rocky beach. Beyond the beach is a pool of glowing water filling half the room and framed by a crystal cavern. Green fronds can be seen in the pool. Light seems to flow from everywhere. The pool and the wall glistening like soft moonlight. On the far side of the pool is a set of doors carved with a sun symbol. All right, let's Venkata, yes, let's go. And you can bitch slap that mermaid chick as soon as we get in there. This map makes me feel sort of squiddle in. <laughs> Queen Mother, you don't know. <laughs> you recall a fairy tale about like a farting sea creature, but nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing about this room seems familiar to your. That's my favorite story. Some people <laughs> would think that that there is a sun, but really it is an asshole. <laughs> can confirm that's the no asshole. moon <laughs> I'll do some perception see what the room see if there's a, a way to uh, best navigate the water without falling in okay I'm just going know. in the water because that's what oh, Nicole like said that to do Wee, okay so, so you're like oh, 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 and in, into the water you go go oh, oh. I'm a giant you... octopus. Oh. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm a giant octopus. You can't fault me for this. <laughs> okay. Um, One moment, please. Just a moment. All right. So uh, you're going into the water alone or is someone holding on to you? I think Nicole is still on my back. And fish spleen. I want to be okay. on that. So the two of you grab the octopus and slide into the water with her. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. Can I have the three of you make me a, a constitution saving throw? I'd rather like, not. Oh, drugs! It's drug water! Oh, that was... Oh, no. I've got inspiration. I'm going to use it. 23. We're going from one end of the spectrum to the Ooh, other. Oh, natural 20. Wow. Goodness sake. Oh, God, I'm using mine too. Oh, okay. 14 is probably enough. I'm going to stick with 14. You think 14's enough? Not anymore. Dang. <laughs> Dark. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like 14 is pretty good. So Venkata failed. Yeah, it's only an 8 with the modifier. Uh, so you take Venkata, you take twelve lightning damage, and everyone else takes six. Ooh. Uh, lightning? Is it lightning or thunder? I guess it'd be lightning. Hey, it's lightning. Okay. Can you guys put yourself in the water wherever you? Wherever Venkata. Wherever the giant squid is. I eel like this is dangerous. No. <laughs> there is a there is a giant lightning eel in the water with you. Um. You're, you Shocking. know the drill. Let's roll initiative. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I fist bump. Oh, oh fucking no, buddy. Finally. Shock me. Finally What's a good that? fucking initiative. Holy Sorry, fuck. friends. There was thunder. Oh, be damn. No thunder. Sweet. Holy. Oh. There'd be no thunder because it would be silent, right? Exactly. Love I told that. you. Asshole. That's, that's, that's not how it's working here. Well, in another world, maybe. Another world and another time. 
I should probably be nicer to you since I'm playing Call of Cthulhu with you soon. Um, <laughs> has has everyone rolled initiative? Nine, nine. Thank you, Jim. There's a number of tentacles in this game, given that it some, is not a Call of Cthulhu game. Some call me Tim. Tim. Uh, why didn't it add Tim to the initiative? Let's try again. Tim's oh, in there okay. twice. I've now added two Tims. It's twice the Thank fun, you. and it was a nine, Tim. Tim, yes, Tim, sir. Timmy, Tim, Tim, Tim. What's happening? What's happening with me? Fish spleen. Your I first, your, your first Muppets treasure react. Act. I will. <laughs> Thank you, Jim, 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 Jim. There's a massive eel approaching uh, the uh, two of you. I would like to hold my action until this octopus gets me closer to said eel. Okay. I, I mean, the eel is right there, dude. Well, then I'll stab said eel. Okay. I don't know if booming blade's a good idea here. Well, I'm gonna do you, it anyway. You can't do thunder damage in a silence sphere, but just oh, it is silence. Yeah, I can't cast spell. Yeah. Fair enough. Let me take that off. All I right. love that everyone rushed into the silence except Sister Aggie. She's like sitting back so she can keep cussing and cursing. Uh, eighteen hit. Uh eighteen hits, dude. Thirteen demands. You... Sister Aggie can't silence the voice. That's why. Uh, I guess I could use my offhand this time. Uh, I I would. I would love you to try that, yes. I uh, will take off sneak attack. Okay. And That's nice. It. And he crits it. What in God? For six. <clears throat> yeah, except you don't get your dex bonus on that. Okay. Well, don't ruin my day, but uh, let's say... Uh, let's what? Say <laughs> I don't know what happened there. On your, on your crit dice, you rolled a one. And on your regular dice, you rolled a one. So you did no. two damage. All things in balance here. <laughs> you did two damage. You crit. You know what? Two damage. Fury of the small. That's okay. Three more. Three more? Don't right. get carried away, fucker. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> um. There you go. Uh. Now. Hmm. How will we do this? How do I get my character sheet back? It disappeared. Like my settings side. Uh, go to the journal. You can uh, shift and double click your token and it should come up. It should. Theoretically. How should nice. we do what? Thank you. Um, Tim. Ow. I think Come you said what I think you said what's up earlier. So yeah. yeah, the woman emerges from the water. Guys, and, I got this. And and uh says what's up. No, and she then, doesn't. And then she doesn't. Well, yeah, you, you just you just see her voice it. But oh. then she she's gonna lean in to kiss you. Oh okay. she looks like a greased paladin. Can I use a reaction to kick him in the butt? <laughs> push him into the kiss? Oh, well, mm. he's got a full helmet on. How long has Tim been uh, single? At least five levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I push him in. Okay. So I'm going to raise the DC on this then. Can you give me a constitution <laughs> saving throw? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Do it for the oh. laughs and the DM can choose. <laughs> it was a dexterity? A con? con? Yeah, um, I think that's a four. You also have that uh, that pseudo yeah. You know, you no, know, you no, know, it's a full inspiration. I got vo outvoted on that. Oh, okay. I'm going Thanks for the it. follow, Heathen. Uh so was... you know she she lifts your faceplate. She leans in to kiss you, and it's just it's just sort of soft caress at first, and then Scarlet kicks you in the ass, and it goes like total French. Um, Ooh. it's a good time. Uh, however. 19. What's 19? Constitution? I don't know. You already used it, babe. I thought you rolled a... I thought you rolled a... I used his inspiration. I oh. used my... You got a 19? Yes, sir. Okay, then like a 12-year-old boy, you totally missed the kiss, and it just glances off your cheek. Uh, <laughs> you're still gonna... You're still gonna take half of this, though. Um, so you take... Uh, you take 13 acid damage. 
halved or after half? No, that is halved. If it, if it was a full on kiss, it would have been 26 acid damage. Mm. My mom gave us a hundred dollars. Can we have a boost? Absolutely. Oh, take a wait a minute. Maybe your mom wants to buff the monsters. She's my mom. She's my mom. Her mom thinks she's cool. My dungeon um, mommy? Is that what you're saying? No, my That's actual different. biological mother. Don't make it weird. That got weird fast. It's not that weird. I agree. Okay, fine. You're like, for a hundred dollars, uh, she just cleared out this room. I think for a hundred dollars, she gave us all um, uh, second, second wind. Second wind. Yeah. Instead of inspiration. I'll give you inspiration and second wind. <gasps> Can I just you. ask you a question, though, Bree? Yeah. Why does that scale, but the other donation didn't scale? I said. A second win instead of inspiration. Yes. Just saying. Take, take your inspiration and, and, and heal 2d10 <laughs> everyone. Oh, shit. And by the way, dumb elephant monk, it's your turn. <laughs> Finally. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to stick dick punch this thing. Okay. I don't think you can do that on an eel. Watch me. We did it on a crab. 18 Apparently. to hit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, natural one. Oh, you break your leg. <laughs> and you fall to the bottom of the water and drown. <laughs> 21 to hit. No save. Go straight to zero. I'm going to do uh, flurry of blows. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes. Are you keeping that one? No. <laughs> There, it's a two instead. Okay. Since when do you uh, do so fumble tables, asshole? <laughs> I'm, I didn't do fumble tables. I didn't say anything. I just asked if you're keeping the one. Yeah, whatever. Okay, fine. Fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> and then the second, the second attack, the twenty-one hits. So I'm taking eight bludgeoning from the staff and nine from the kick. Yes, and I am or flurry of blows, so I have another unarmed strike for twenty-three yeah, for I'm four. Why do you hate monks, Jeremy? I don't know. I don't know. And stunning strike. So DC oh, 15 con save. Don't make a stunning strike, Bree. It's dead. It's okay, dead. Okay, well, fine. 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 Fucking killed it. Fine. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> fine. Scarlet, it's your turn. I like that you underwater kicked an eel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how that friggin' works. I wanted to disprove Jeremy, and I googled eel questions and apparently they do not have sexual organs so no there, you can't there. actually do that you can't dick kick it <laughs> Wait, i was it surprised they actually don't know how they reproduce. like it's like a mystery I yeah think they probably lay eggs don't they they lay eggs but no one's ever seen them do it and they do it at depths and they don't have like sexual organs eggs are in my it's... mouth now uh. <laughs> oh <laughs> So I feel like this is one of those, the more you know. falls in love with a mermaid. I just yeah. want to fucking apologize to anyone that's here watching this stream. <laughs> it's please, tell, please tell me there's only like three people in channel. Right and it kisses there's 28 like a people in channel. Actually. Oh, fuck off. There's 28 people. <laughs> um, whose turn is it? Scarlet, what would you Mine. like to do? I'm going to apologize profusely to Tim and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought I'm maybe sorry. she was your type. Um, and instead, attempt to take her head off. Okay. Um, dirty, you're absolutely right. At least it's not an art artificer. Yeah. I've lost control of this. It's 18? 18's a hit. Uh, Katie donated $25. Okay, so Katie, what are we doing? I mean, that was my cousin, but sure, we'll buff the party, I guess. Okay. What was oh, the party well... like now? For... <laughs> Level seven. Level seven. Mm. Why stop there? I mean, honestly. Why Level stop ten. There? Level ten. I would like I don't a know how to work did... roll 20. That would just hinder me. <clears throat> uh, uh, did I happen to kill this siren lady? You're damn close. So with the money buff, I'm going to say you kill it. 
<laughs> because it's 1140. <laughs> and We've the best part is, is that due to and the cone of silence, Tim will never know that I apologize to him and we will be on the outs for forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tim's like, son of a bitch. Okay. I'm just going to mime things and be like. So the water creature dies. I'm walking to the other door somehow. Skirting the edge. When the siren is rude and kisses like a dude, that's a more. When the siren's rude <laughs> and kisses like a dude. <laughs> love songs. <laughs> by Stronghold DD. Oh my god, please put that on a shirt. <laughs> siren's rude. And kisses like a dude. Um <laughs> What are we doing here? Hold on a second. I'm getting to be an octopus conveyance unit for these two. Uh, so, this L-shaped corridor is partially flooded. But it does get shallower. Oh, nice. Uh, Sister Aggie... Are we keeping our concentration on that silence spell there? Creeping, creeping, creeping. I was creeping. you to ask me that. Creeping, uh, creeping, creeping. Creeping, creeping, creeping. No. <laughs> Is that the right answer? I want there to be ramifications, but there's just not. There's not. At this point, there's just not. Okay. 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 Let's continue. I'm holding on to this octopus for dear life. I'm going to question that for like 10 years now. Should I have kept it up? Tim We're is making sad plate mail noises down the hallway with an octopus right behind him. <laughs> yes. As we ride the octopus cavalry across dry ground and upstairs into battle, you reach a door. And I'm assuming Tim's going to open it. So we're going to open it. Uh, and beyond... This this hallway is 20 feet wide and has piles of rubble and debris scattered along its length. The walls are covered with frescoes. The south wall displays scenes of battle between natives and invaders. The north wall depicts people questing for a new land. Their experiences during the journey include crossing treacherous mountains, sailing over storm-tossed seas, and receiving the guidance of the gods in their battles to keep their homeland free from invasions. In the cool. center of the wall is a painting of a pyramid with a temple atop it and the sun shining over the land. Ooh. How's that grab? Scarlet wants to know if it was a three-sided pyramid or a four. No, it doesn't look like a three-sided pyramid. Mm, it's not Pooty Tickle Temple. Down the hall to the west is an archway carved in the form of twinning serpents. Beyond the door is shadow. As mm -hmm. Sister Aggie's going through, can oh, she yeah. just uh, take note of all the frescoes and roll yeah. religion to see if she gains? Yeah, go, go make that religion check. Nineteen. <laughs> Thank God, Ruin, you're here and keeping us on track. Um, <laughs> I'm a real follower. I know, I know. I appreciate it. Um, oh my God! Roll twenty. Yeah, you it's are... crushing me too. There does not like busting my nuts. <laughs> it's, bu it's, bu it's busting my nuts. Yes, dude, dude. I'm just trying to go down the hallway. Just let me go down the hallway. My nuts. <laughs> you believe there is not religious significance here? That it is more historical significance. We're gonna roll um, a history check. It is, and, and yeah, go ahead and roll a history check for me. 23. 23. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, Timochin. <laughs> Timo, Timocan. Yeah. Timo, the, uh, Timo. T Timochan. Timochan. Uh, th this is obviously tracking the, the, you know, the history of its people. And maybe what caused the fall is these uh, smallpox. These damn yeah. colonizers, yes. Ah, guns, sheriffs, and steel. Goddamn colonizers. Ali, 
Uh, so this archway opens into Sorry. just shadow and darkness. Mm. Fine. Divine sense. Oh. You don't sense any sort of demons or fiends or celestials or undead here. Seems like a wall, everybody. I'm going to do a sniff test. Ooh, it's a mimic wall. Keen senses. Okay, and while you do that, uh, I think Fish, Spleen, and Scarlet just walked through the archway. And now Fish, oh, Spleen did not. That's one to see. Oh, okay. I'm still riding my squid. 21. Okay. So, um... Yeah, out of what I've already described, you don't see anything else. Um... Scarlet would like to preemptively just uh, say, like, if, if there's any uh, animals, critters, crustaceans, or in-betweens in here, um, uh, best be scooting along. Do an animal. <laughs> okay. Sister, and, he's going to reach and, out and, and put a hand on Scarlet's shoulder and be like, you know, sometimes the darkness is our friend. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, with that, everyone take... Just... Take D6 poison damage. Ugh. Man, I was going for no, you. You keep whispering that in my ear at night while I'm while you think <laughs> I'm sleeping, but um, I'm still not sure I quite agree with that particular philosophy. I'll add it to the lullabies. How how long have I been an octopus, by the way? I don't know. All your okay. life. Half an hour, okay. according to the whenever we're taking the damage. Okay. Ish. Yeah, an octopus. Heavy on the ish. I'm going to touch the wall. Uh, wow. Okay. So. Yeah, you can touch the wall. It's hard. It, it's there, but like it's difficult to see. It's like the shadows make it look like there's more space there. And as but you as you reach out, you do put your hand on a wall. Can I cast Detect Magic? Absolutely. Okay. The To the left and right of Scarlet and Tim, and even, you know, sort of the entire archway, there you, you can sense a multitude of magic. Okay. Uh, well, while this is going on, I'd like to re-grease Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I like I'm press so to digitate rude. him at the end of the 10 minutes and then psh. sorry you just <laughs> randomly <laughs> you just randomly grease the paladin is that what I'm yeah. hearing uh, Tim make a deck save to see if you stay standing oh I don't, what's going, I don't know what's going on here but I'm going to allow it no you fall down I I'm pretty sure what's your DC there Ryan yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so Tim, Tim falls down <laughs> Uh, just I'm just one cast... giant tentacle to like stand him back up. <laughs> okay. Um, can you give me a uh, a dexterity check because you're 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 trying to grab a grease paladin and that's similar to a grease pig. Uh, so give me a dexterity. I didn't think check. all this was gonna happen. I just thought you were gonna grease you and I'd get a good laugh. I <laughs> give me a dexterity check. 15. I appreciate your blessing of grease. It, it, what's the total? Fifteen total. It, is that higher than your saving throw, Ryan? That is my saving throw. Yeah, then you do. You manage to get a good grip with all your <laughs> pentacly goodness and, you know, you stand All the little fucking cups. <laughs> yeah. Well. Tentacly goodness. D&D &D taken out of context. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sister Eggie is going to look at the shadows and be like, I have seen too many things that are far darker than this ruse. And she's going to cast Dispel Magic. So is it third or lower? No, it is not. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what level it is? Uh, fifth. Fifth? Okay, so I have to make two spell checks to see if it works. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know what? There's been lots of money given tonight. I'm just going to say that it works. So the shadows fade away, and you're looking at basically just a set of alcoves here. The room is exactly as described. Who's as Al you. Coves? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I feel like we have to... Mm-hmm. And why are there a couple of them? Jeremy, did you think this was going to go seriously when you, when we started? I have a very low intelligence, okay? I had low expectations, actually. This has been... <laughs> I just hope everyone is enjoying themselves. That's all I'm. That's all I'll say. And if you're not, get out. That's that's fine too. Don't get out. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> take that back. So if you're the, not the... enjoying it, throw money at us so we know to improve. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> magics were uh, happening here, Sister Aggie has gotten rid of them for you know the, the a time. So we go in. Is there an inn? Can I go in somewhere? No, there's just like the alcoves as the map's showing you right now, and whatever huh. effects were there are now are now gone. I feel like. Okay, where haven't we been? Like a we trap door. Check the line. For a trap. Yeah. Again, I hate to say that I told you okay. so, but I did suggest we go back to the lime place that was just you know covered in acid and all that. Well, I guess it actually it's basic. I don't know. I chemistry. It was a. It was. Anyways. What's uh? What's the role for check for traps? Um, a just step in the square. I can I can hop off the squid and take a look. If investigation's higher, you can use your investigation. Sorry, what was what was the one you said? Investigation or perception, either one, whichever's oh, better. Perception's better. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> oh, but I I'm gonna use an inspiration because I have enough to spare, and I'll roll uh, again. I've heard they're I'm... going around. Yes. Oh shit. I am just going oh, to stand uh, 920. right here. I feel this spot right here. I'm okay. It. Uh, you take a look around and don't find anything, Sister Aggie. This house is clear, so to speak, Sister Aggie. Oh, good. The Lord's will has touched it. Uh, well, well, I'm that one. <laughs> I guess to go back to the lime wall like you want, Scarlet. Uh, sorry, remind me again. Who decided that we should be chasing some long lost freaking godforsaken temple in the middle of, of nowhere? Tamachoan. Yeah, who whose idea was this one? Was there not a dragon we could have slayed? Not a she's like walks away like mumbling the whole time. She's like I just like the name. I, th- I thought like Tim. Would have been cool. Battle back down the hallway. My okay. bad. Do you want me just to pull everybody's character over there? Yes, please. If fully could have been her idea for all I know. <laughs> please stand by while the DM moves you across. Roll, oh, roll, a, roll a D4. Roll Evens, it was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> roll a D4. All right. Please Isn't stand it? by. Okay, it was it a one. <laughs> It was Fishplane's idea. idea. That's why he doesn't get to You're vote not... anymore. Whose idea was it? Fishplane. What did I do? I was just yes. sitting here. <laughs> I've lost Fishplane on this map. He's Dare over in me. the muck room. Yeah, what, he's in he's in the right room, but uh, if you did lose him, no no real harm. I'm here. Done. I'm here. You're already there. I'm there. Tim's not. I'm good. Some I'm in the L shape. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, I'm not. Some call me Tim. I'm, I'm Tim, moving. Timmy, right Tim, now. Tim, Tim, Tim. Okay, uh, so it takes four of you to move this. Plug. Oh, the muck plug. I wouldn't look that up. <laughs> the Google. muck plug. You don't look that up. That's anyway. the technical name for this uh, this chamber. Yeah. Don't Google that. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying yeah, is when we were in this hallway, we were calling Ryan the ass master, and it was a plug. <laughs> Master Ass Blaster. Okay. Master Ass Blaster. Wait. Never mind. Um, so you open uh you open this door. And uh Sister I you slow down there, my dear. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm so excited. We find the exit. Yay! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Beyond the plug is a small foyer holding three sealed urns on the east and west side. To the south are a pair of double doors of bronze with glyphs worked into their face. I really don't feel good about this. I'm just going to reiterate that. 
I know we hit a dead end, but I really don't feel good about okay. this room. Octopus girl, you are done. I'm I'm pulling out the plug. It's been two hours. Are you kidding? Oh, it goes for two hours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Instead, how about everybody just take D6 poison damage? I prefer the octopus to be out of octopus. <laughs> Everybody take some poison damage. Oh my god. You know you want it. You know you love it. Hey, you crit. Nice job. So oh, nice. Nice. we did it twice. Oh wait, I might be down. Hold on. Oh no, I'm good. Damn it, dude. You have a goblin down? No? No, I'm good. Scarlet starts smashing urns like she's a uh, uh, Link in in one of the Zelda games and just <laughs> hoping that gems will pop out of them. And are you going, are you going to put Diablo on them? Uh, well, yeah. there's glyphs on them, right? On the door. There's glyphs on the oh. door. I don't touch the door, but I I smash something. I'm going to religion check the door. Okay. Religion check the hell out of it. I'm sorry, do gems pop out of these things? 12. Uh, no, gems do not pop out of those things. Uh, hold on a second. A bunch uh, of goat. But you get a roast chicken. The urns were, were sealed with beeswax, but that is now broken. And each <laughs> Oh, of no, six... smashed. What? Absolutely yes. obliterated. Smashed into a million pieces. Okokay, so each urn... I feel like, like they really earned that. <laughs> Okay, so when you smash the first urn, oil was inside it, and it spreads out all over the floor. I feel like Tim should make another Enough one. oil, by the way, that it says the equivalent of 20 flasks of oil. Hmm. Ooh. Is the next one full of fire? That's a lot of yeah, oil. <laughs> you want to smash the next one? She does, yes. More. Now 40 flasks of oil. There's a lot of oil all over the floor. I don't like that. Oh, well, you should stop. Over. Reach in and scoop up fish clean and put them on my head. Okay. He's covered in oil. And like just kind of it smells like lamp over oil. here. Uh Tim, dead. did you make did you make a religion check on the door? Twelve, sir. Okay. Very twelve-ish. Hmm. <laughs> Twelve-ish? Yeah. Uh, ish, yeah. It's written um, in Elven. <laughs> no, the, you don't see anything about the writings that would make you think religion. Mm. I don't mm. see anything here that seems like religion. Can I cast? However, languages? Uh, as you pass back and forth in front of the door, reading those, Tim. Uh, every time you pass where the doors join, there is forward. like your I light pass? from your mace. Uh, there's something shiny sort of reflecting light through the the crack between the two doors. Mom? Mom? No, it's not Mom. Oh. <laughs> she was shiny. You want to open the doors? They're locked. You can force, you can force them though if you like. <laughs> Barbarian, let's do this. Let's rock over, as they say in the business. You want to check it oh, for traps yeah. first? They do, could Sister Aggie uh, cast Comprehend Languages? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So the it's glyphs on the, ruined. The glyphs on the door read: "Here lies Tolokes Popo Locas, Master of the Outsiders." Who is oh, like man. the wind and the night? Oh, Stay golden, night. pony boy. <laughs> hmm. I feel like this is a mummy lord. Let's do this. How about we don't? Okay. Are you are you breaking the door well, down? There's no other directions so yeah. far. Yeah. Yeah. We went through the muck club. Scarlet's okay. feeling a little claustrophobic. She's feeling a little wet, a little dirty, a little disgusting. Yep. She knows of no other way to go. And she's ready to kick in a door with Sir Tim. So yeah. as all the So the two you. of you the two of you smash the door open and what was glistening light back through the door were glass orbs hanging on the other side of it. There it and is. And as they shatter on the ground and uh. fill and fill the foyer with gas. I would like Sister Aggie, Scarlet, and Sir Tim to make a constitution saving throw. Dead. 
Gr green uh, mist swirls up inspiration and covers one. the room. Oh, inspiration. That's right. Worse. <laughs> oh, no, ruin. <laughs> well, the first was a nat one, so. And yeah, what, what two did, is what so did much our better. dear paladin get? Nine. Nine. <laughs> and our barbarian got an 18? As the yes. Germans say. Oh. <laughs> so, um, both. Uh, Sister Aggie and Sir Tim are poisoned and fall asleep for 5,000 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. How do we know it's that long? Come on. I wish... <laughs> I wish I was lying. What? I wish I was lying. This is legitimately from the module. Uh, they become poisoned for 5,000 years. And while poisoned in this way, they are unconscious. But also unaffected by the passage of time. Cool. Cool. I, I'm going to wake up stronger and more alive than any of you. <laughs> True. <laughs> Except for Sir Tim. There, I'm literally like, going to paste. Sir Tim I, and I will conquer I'm the world. I'm pasting in, chat ex in, in the chat exactly what it says. Oh, and it was a DC 10. <laughs> so I pass and I'm utterly unaffected as I see my two companions just drop to yes, the ground. And... Yes, but the room is, is filled with this gas. The vapors. But, I mean, are I can't everywhere. seem to find another way out of this place. Would, so, I mean, do we just you, go to sleep you, and? I should maybe, um, yeah, I should maybe. Uh, you did open the door though, so you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't have to fight that guy. So, if you'd like, um, Scarlet can move further into the room or back out with her friends to get out of the vapors. Because well, the, I... the, also, word for word for the modules, the vapors will linger here for a month. Uh, she's she's going to go back to her companions and be like, I, I don't know of another way out. We could sit here and starve for a month waiting for these vapors to evaporate, or we can all just take a very long snooze and see if we can't, um, if, if erosion hasn't found a, a way out of this place on its own by then. I mean, I've got a couple antitoxins. Or we could do that. It, I mean, if you want, I don't know. I'll put little sleepy heads on Sister Aggie, and uh, there we go. I she she kind of leans in a little bit, and she's like, "Would it be a, a kindness though to just leave Sister Aggie this way? She does seem quite peaceful. It seems like five thousand years without the voice might might be a nice reprieve." I I think Sister Aggie might have a smile on her face. I feel hey. like it's. I feel like the demon can still talk through her. Like, it can't do anything, but it can talk. So it's like, release me! I need to conquer! I mean, I feel like Sister Aggie is very useful. And so is Sir Tim. Even though I doubt his actual surness. You don't say. I never even thought about that. I just assumed he was a paladin. He'd tell the truth, and I'm like, "Oh my, I'm questioning everything about him now." I'm, so I'm just saying. In a pool of oil as well, because the room. Can I just <laughs> take like a huge breath and like throw my tentacles in there and pull them out? <laughs> sure. Into the hallway. Sure. Since they're on a greased floor, anyways, they'll just yes, sort of fly. So Tim has sleeping. grease on him. Tim has a grease oh, smell really? on him and is covered in oil and is I sleeping for five hours. Hop five down thousand. off of Venkata and dump antitoxins into their mouths. Okay. It doesn't work. Well shit. I don't I don't know then. I you know what? I think this is a fucked up place to just fucking end it for the night. <laughs> right, can I see if love's I true think... will awaken Tim? Sure, you wanna kiss Tim? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna kiss Aggie. Fishplane, you want to kiss Tim? Yeah, I'll fish bling, fish bling. plant a goblin kiss on him. See if okay. That will be the second unconsensual kiss of of like. It just you know, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's been a rough you know, night for me. Hold on a second. If, if my, uh, take... Does fish spleen get uh, residual oh. acid damage from the sirens kiss? Uh, no. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That would kill I, me. 
and we all die. Yeah. We end with the death of Fish Plane kissing Tim. Oh, wow. I'll make that roll. I'll make okay. That roll. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make your con save. Are you about to poison yourself, too? Let's see here. Constitution. Not well, uh, You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, so if the glass... It, I've already posted some of it, but then what it says is if if magic is used to cure the poison condition, the recipient uh, is immune to the poison for one hour, but then falls back back asleep. Um, casting a dispel magic using a seventh level slot or higher ends the effect. So you know, just just a little dispel magic. We're level five, <laughs> dude. I didn't write this module. <laughs> level five. <laughs> Well, I think I think that is a fitting place to end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was okay. <laughs> hold, on, uh, hold on, you you cannot leave me the player cliffhanging. What did we do wrong? Where was the exit? Um, that so the what you were looking for is in that very long hall with the shadow shadowy corridor, the shadowy alcove at the end. Yeah, uh -huh. I mentioned there was. So if you search the west wall, no, the north wall, the north wall where the pyramid is with the sun shining over it. Oh, I forgot about door. that. There's a secret door through the pyramid. Oh, there's too much going on. <laughs> but let me promise you that there was so much ahead of you. Yeah, we like, only did like a quarter, not yeah. even. And you have to get a certain depth. There's a certain distance into the dungeon you have to get before you can rise up out of the vapors. Okay. Yeah. I feel like Let's it's too the, uh, deep inside of it. Of so we meet again in uh, 5,000 years? So if you took a hmm. statue, if you took one of those statues out and put it on the floor, it comes to life and attacks you. Cool. But no one did And that. you have a pocket full of them when you fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just took the the one that looked like their god. Oh, Pichu, that's right. Yeah, that was the triangle you took, right? Yeah. That room is literally just a time sink. Like it's strange, wow. and people will like start to fiddle around and move stuff around. G Blaster, we didn't play a D and D rules. We were, we were playing with um with uh, fifth edition rules. Yeah, it's just Scarlet for, just for everyone's it, familiarity. It does, it does feel very like old school D and D though. It did. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Um, yeah, there, well, there's lots of other great uh, shenanigans. I, I actually like this module. Uh, falling asleep for five thousand years is fucking hysterical. If you in the next room, uh, you prop that probably would have been a TPK if you opened that. There's a there's a coffin in there, and there's a really powerful baddie in it. It would probably it would probably wipe you. I think. Well, so think. next year for ah. Heroes for CF, we wake up five thousand years in the future. Oh, I'd like mm. that. And it's cured, mm. and we play mutant Ball classics. Yes. Oh in the, yes. In the future. In the future. Or Starfinder. Yes. Or Starfinder. Or Starfinder. I'm not a big fan of Starfinder. I've played Starfinder. I'm sort of am. I'm on the fence about it. Um, but that's just me. Listen. I want to thank everybody that came out tonight. Uh, I I talked about it on the break. We're we're over, uh, th we're over three thousand dollars raised. Thirty eight hundred. Four thousand. Uh, we had we we had uh, some friends run a uh, Warhammer forty k tournament today, uh, and they told me their numbers were somewhere up in around seven hundred. So with that, we're well over the four thousand dollar mark, which is amazing, amazing. So thank you so much for that for everyone that donated. Uh, I can tell you that my daughter is, you know, my daughter's eight years old, and when she was born, uh, there was not a whole lot of options uh, except to. Just try to get her the best nutrition and the best, uh, you know, uh, therapy, physical therapies that we could. There are now drugs, though, that are doing wonderful things. And so and I can tell you that that's because of fundraising that has been done from year to year to year uh, for research. Uh, Avril is currently in the midst of going through um, to get put on a brand new type of drug. 
that sort of tricks her body into believing it doesn't have cystic fibrosis and she'll go from taking somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 to 100 pills a week uh down to about a dozen uh so it's it's it, it, it is a big deal the the money that uh is raised does go uh towards uh research and the research is making progress because i mean so many times we throw money throw money at donations that mean stuff to us but we don't necessarily see any sort of advancement so i'm here to tell you that in the eight years that we've been uh battling the cystic fibrosis thing there has been advancements and we're seeing uh huge improvements and you know we're going like i said we're going through this process right now the drug is somewhere in the neighborhood of three hundred thousand dollars a year for someone to be on it uh but um there there is funding available but you have to apply for it and then so we're, we're just going through all those steps now and hopefully by the end of the summer avril will be on this new drug and she'll like i said it'll it it's huge and they they guesstimate that like it adds 10 years to her life so she goes to having a life expectancy of about 45 to somewhere around 55 so that that again is a huge uh step forward i'm very happy to hear that um so i appreciate everybody that donated and i appreciate uh all of our friends that came out tonight to play DD and help us raise awareness uh congratulations on winning dice queen mother uh we have a game tomorrow night again uh right here and we will be giving away not a mystery box but we do have another set of dice that we're going to give away we've been giving away a set of dice every um every sunday night may is cystic fibrosis awareness month so I'm we use that dry over here it's an opportunity yep yep we're taking you to to the mat um let's let let's raid somebody before we go remember our our sponsor canadian dice.ca ryan was kind enough to donate all the dice to give away uh which we appreciate and you can go to the store and use the code omrd for a 10 percent discount there uh once again my guests we got tim from the stronghold dnd we have ruin from the cantrips and coffee uh podcast we have queen mother gm from queen mother gming you can go and uh have her as your dm go over go over and well gm i guess dm is not really the right word uh gm at, over at start playing uh all of their and they're all on instagram the stronghold dm queen mother gm no the stronghold dnd queen mother gm and cantrips and coffee canadian dice and of course my can i call you gal pals sure with my two gal pals from the Voctaire who uh helped me with all kinds of stuff and very appreciative thank you for coming out uh anything else we want to add before we, we should probably raid somebody right absolutely we got a lovely yeah. raid from lord gasumba so thank you for that oh when did that come in just while when I was we were on break oh okay yeah okay that, sorry well, i thought you that, saw it no i didn't see it that's amazing oh well um, oh well i will message jay and thank him for that mm -hmm. um i'm a big fan of lord gasumba uh, i don't see anybody on that i know no, not really. You try uh, Insomnia Night RPG. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I see them. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Insomnia Night RPG. I'm horrible at rating. Once again, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, and we'll be back, like I said, tomorrow night with more dice to give away. And then we have Queen Mother GMing here on Tuesday night. And you can always jump over to the Voctera. They've got lots of games going on Mondays, Thursdays. Mondays, Friday. Thursdays, Sorry. Fridays, Saturday mornings, and our new mini series Bankar Bruhaha is starting this Tuesday. And don't forget to uh, go over and friend uh, Cantrips and Coffee so you can check out the uh, the soon to come Cthulhu game. Oh yeah, we got our campaign one, our session one tomorrow too. Uh, Strong nice. Oh yes, uh, yes. And it's uh, the giant one, uh, Storm King's Thunder. Storm King's, Storm King's Thunder. Blunder. And you're running two parties in the same campaign, right? Yeah, we got twelve people in our in our little friend group, so Damn. we split. So we split. We'll go every other weekend. Pete will be a DM. He's thirty years of experience, brilliant. And then I'll Bobo the other one, and we'll figure it out. A Bobo, that's awesome. I'm sure you won't Bobo it. I'm sure you won't Bobo it. Okay, let's launch this raid. It's late. Everybody, go to bed. And thank you nice. so much. We'll post totals on the on our Instagram to let you know how much we ended up fundraising.
Miss you. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.